Hello, everybody, and welcome to our Saturday stream today here on the Saints broadcast. I'm Josh Fundy Pafundi, joined by a familiar face here. It's been a while, Amanda, but Amanda Commanda Dupuis here joining me. You know, it's been a minute since we've casted some Valorant, but oh, uh, yeah. excited to get her back on the mic with you. Yeah, me too. I, I think one of the first casts that you ever did was Valorant yeah. with me, so... It's nice to get back into the swing of things. Hundred mm-hmm. percent. Saints today moving on, or not moving on, but playing in this Valorant College North bracket here for C Val, and it's going to be in the lower round. They did drop to TMU Gold up in that bracket. If we can take a look at the bracket quickly here, you can see drop to tmu there and then or carlton ravens actually and then now facing the indiana hoosiers here in the lower bracket indiana taking a match off of waterloo gold up there and then dropping to northwood in 2-0 fashion today and coming into this i mean we talk about the power rankings a lot here in valor and if we take a look at them as well you can see st Clair up there at number 12 but indiana right below them at 15 so only three seed behind should be a very very close match today we have here in the lower round oh absolutely i mean seeing these two teams play today it's gonna be a really good match i think yeah 100 percent. both of these teams right i mean you make it this far into c value definitely you're dealing with like the top top tier of teams as you can see we're in top 15 territory right here but Definitely going to be an interesting one. We are still waiting on the map picks to come through. But, I mean, given Collegiate Valorant, I know <laughs> you haven't been here much, but we do usually see, we call it the Collegiate Special of Maps, which comes through, which is Haven, Bind, and Ascent. Oh, yeah. Would not be surprised to see those three in any order there. A lot of teams, though, really like to start Haven. I know we've seen the Saints starting Haven in a lot of their series recently, but we are still waiting on that map pick here. And uh, yes, we're just going to send it to a quick little break here. We'll be back with game one and map one.
And we are here into Agent Select here for Map 1 Haven. We have got the other maps confirmed as well. Going to be followed up with Ascent and Map 3 Icebox. Something we have not seen in a long time here on the Collegiate Stream, Amanda. Yeah, it's definitely a map that, uh, you know, we don't see it played very often mm -hmm. right now. Like you were saying, there's the big three uh, yeah. maps, so we don't see it that often. Yeah, it really seems like Icebox and like Fracture has been another one we haven't seen in a long time here. But coming on to Haven, we do see fairly typical comps coming through from both of these teams. You see that Raze switch out for the Jet over on the side of Indiana. But other than that, these comps are fairly, fairly similar. Indiana is still sticking to the Astra as well. Druff going to be on that one. Astra is something that we've seen 4-tapping play a lot, but recently... Fortapping has been switching to the Omen a lot more, especially here on Haven. And the flashes from the Omen, I feel like I've definitely put in more work in terms of uh, just helping out the team and really locking down the executions rather than something like a, a Astra Well or a Concuss. It's just the flash seems to provide a lot more value uh, in terms on that entry, allowing Borg and Ems to really get in there and start fragging. Can't forget about Sushi on that fade as well. This fade has been putting in absolute work here, especially when Sushi has been piloting in. But here we are on the pistol round. Saints grouped up around this A. Yeah, it looks like they're going to try to split up to push this A site. Simba looking for Borge here. Might just get him if he peeks out too early, but we're just going to see a little bit of a back and forth. Spots M's leg. Shots go back and forth. The TP comes out. Borge falls on the entry. Cloudburst from Smart Punch there to save themselves for just a little bit. Simba falls to M. Some chamber v chamber action, but three kills going the way of Indiana University. Sushi, the only Saint left and is just going to get spammed down by Opted there. One health on that fade to end out that round. Indiana squeaks out that pistol round and finds themselves a lead there, really just shutting down that entry very well. Oh, absolutely. I mean, Saints barely made it onto the site uh, before they were taken down here by Indiana, which was a, a great hold by them. Yeah, 100%. It all came off the back. Smart punch in that corner. You shut down Borge, and once you shut down that main entry character, I mean, it's really hard for the rest of the team to follow up, especially when Borge didn't really have the chance to make the space that you'd expect from that raise. Just kind of walked in, didn't make it past that kind of half box there on the site, and couldn't really convert off of that Simba first pick here on this anti on this second round. That Marshall, so strong, especially in the hands of the chamber. Opted, Smart Punch finds a double, most likely a collat there. Opted to clean it up, a flawless from Smart Punch is doing some work for Indiana right now. I've seen their name two, three times for the last two rounds. Uh, that's exactly what you want from that jet coming through. I mean, you pick the jet, and first two rounds you find four kills. I mean, got to feel confident after, oh, about absolutely. that one. Oh, Yeah, great use of the smokes as well, those cloud bursts, just to be able to save themselves, really shut down those lines of sight, and, you know, find one kill, not burn the dash immediately, I think has been a big one. Uh, just saving that dash for later repositioning, kind of later faking out of the opponent or just escape when you need it. That dash only going to come up after two kills, whereas you're going to have two smokes in hand. So if you can just use the smoke and make it out alive, you're finding yourself a lot of value with that one. M's now set up on this long area. Full rifles being bought for the Saints. This is their round to take. Saints are definitely playing more careful here. Looks like they're kind of playing for picks or moving towards B, sort of. Uh, we'll have to see exactly what happens. I hear some gunfire over on C, but it looks like they're going to move back towards B. Uh, looks like it's likely just spamming out some spo smoke, something of the like there. You see that fade creeping up B there. The bomb there on 4-tapping, getting dangerously close towards that C side, but... Nobody from Indiana really wants to step past this control they found for themselves there on C. And Saints spending a lot of time towards mid. M's now creeped up this long area. It looks like A is going to be the play for them. However, three players from Indiana already stacked up A. B has been completely clear this whole time. Simba on that Marshall finds the body shot. Going to get tagged by one bullet, but TP's out fairly unscathed. Simba finishes off Forge. Finally, Sushi finds their own, and the Saints into the site. We're going to see Sushi get another kill here onto Simba. Saints on site, planting bomb now. Planted. Two members of Indiana are going to try to take this site back. 
uh, moving from uh, CT. Coming in from CT. We've got one player here opted Last on this fade. Standing. Coming in for the pinch. Now, left in the 1v3. Finds the first kill. Has full utility available. I gonna come out. Destroyed immediately. Keep spraying this out. Crowler to check the corner. The aftershock from this breach. First one not gonna hit. Opted now in the 1v1. 46 health to their name. Jello to finish it off. Opted looked so, so promising to find that clutch, but. The health bar is too low in the end, and it was Jello to clean that one up. You see, once again, the brothers, Sushi and Jello, there, top of the scoreboard. Sushi has been absolutely popping off in every single league, every single series we've had. Sushi has definitely been making their mark, and you see it here now that we make it into this fourth round. Absolutely. I mean, that round there, both of them did amazing work. We're going to see a judge come out here, actually, on the side of Saints, which is an interesting pick. A hundred percent. You know, they're on a bit of an eco now, even though they did win that last round. Not everyone had full buy, but Forge, double blast pack in there, gets right into B Smooth's face. That's both initiators from the side of Indiana shut down. This could be very, very easy to now hold this post plant as there's nothing really to open up that site other than a jet just dashing in themselves and using their abilities to make space, but really in the form of flashes at all or anything that you can really push up behind smart punch and this chamber simba here gonna be pushing in from that a side jello shut down smart punch before they can find a kill good chunk of damage done to sushi there but sushi eats it out alive it looks like we might just have to see a save come through here for iu yeah i wasn't expecting uh boards to just fly in like that i mean it's signature yeah. for him but he flew in with uh, the Stinger and just got work done. Yeah, signature for sure. That has been Porges' like calling card is the double pla blast packs off the starting of the round. Can just make it so deep into a site before they're even aware. B-Smooth was just absolutely <laughs> bewildered. The second <laughs> yeah. this race flies around the corner, Stinger is just going to shoot so, so fast. You grab a rifle for yourself as well, and that round is just pretty well cleared out off those first two initial picks. IU forced to save those rifles. Try to make it into this round. Smart punch, Bladestorm in hand. This could be scary. Yeah, when you just see the pistol on the jet for the buy and the ready for the ultimate, oh, you get yeah. a little bit nervous. 100%, especially this smart punch player who has just been, like, smart at uh, pulling their punches, let's say. <laughs> very, very calm, collected play from this jet. You see, they're very comfortable with finding one pick, using that cloud burst, making it out, never really fighting too many enemies at once, never putting them in that position. They're going to get traded out or picked off. Wow. Saints know this Blade Storm probably over towards that A side. That's where Smart Punch has been all game. Forge perfectly happy with walking there up B. Throw a couple pot shots, but now could see a bit of an altercation here in Garage. Prowler doesn't end up finding anyone and they're just going to fly past that breach. We're going to see Alt come out here for Fade. Uh, B Smooth going to try to counter Alt here. But uh, we're not going to see planted. too much happening for Saints. Yeah, it's just a plant to come down. Going to hold this site. They did lose one on the entry. So 5v4 retake for the side of IU. Make that 5v2. A smart punch comes in with two on the entry there. Sushi able to find one before they fall. But the third round secured for Indiana University here off a great retake there. Smart punch. I mean, we talked about it. It's scary to see a blade storm at the starting of that round, and Smart Punch comes flying in with that updraft, makes their mark with two picks there, finds their way back to the top of that leaderboard for IU as well, makes it away with a rifle. The economy of IU is looking in great shape right now. Oh, absolutely. And I mean, that round, I have to give credit to Saints where credit's due. Um, they were able to take that point pretty quickly and pretty effectively. Um, however, they just couldn't hold it until, uh, Indiana got over there. Yeah, a hundred percent. It was definitely tough, especially when you lose one on the entry and don't find that pick yourself. Druff was able to make it out of there pretty cleanly. And then five player retake, especially off the back of a, a two player entry. 
just too, too hard to hold that one when your two players are left on bomb. Or it's just gonna walk in here, but gets shut down by Spark Punch. Once again, playing in that back corner there with that Cloud Burst, able to just shut him down, shut down those lines of sight. And now, Saints, you're your duelist down, your entry down. Don't got much left in the tank here. See that paranoia also gone. Gonna be waiting on four tapping smokes to come up for the rest of this. Yeah, that's probably the best way to play it, is just kind of play it safe and slow. Uh, use smokes and probably get off that A site, which looks like they are doing. They're moving over towards B. Here. Yeah, I think they just want to wait for like an overstep here almost, but M's going to be stepping in there, shutting down that trademark. Typical spot for that trademark on B. It's great. It's going to catch anyone walking through that door, and they're forced to shoot it down, which is just free info. Four tapping, going to be shut down, trying to creep up sewers. Checks that corner, but Smart Punch yet to move since the starting of this round, as left. that corner has just been providing so much value on this A site. The rest of the team here moving on towards B. Insta plant from Jello. Opted, going to be on that rotation. You got two from that C side, three from A. Nice dodge of the Rolling Thunder, but Smart Punch is in the site now, and he's behind the Saints. That's a third for Smart Punch in the round, and Opted and Simba helping that one out. Cleaned up once again. Amanda, Saints looking to be following behind a little bit here. Yeah, it looks like uh, Saints are having a little bit of a rough time in the beginning of this match here. Uh... We'll see if they make a comeback. It looks like they're going to be a little bit less off in terms of eco. Looks like they are going to try to force in any way that they can uh, to keep up with Indiana. But, you know, it's hard when you have that jet coming in and just mm -hmm. doing what jet does best, messing everything up. <laughs> yeah, messing everything thing up and not dying in the process. Exactly. A, a very hard one to deal with as well. It, it would feel a lot sweeter if you were able to, you know, at least trade out the jet, but... It's just tough on a character so slippery play, like that. So tough to engage on. Big fault line there at the starting of the round. They're not necessarily sure how to hit anyone. As you see, the Screech actually moved all the way onto B. A site fully clear. Rolling Thunder gonna hit forward, but not gonna hit any IU members as this entire team is just off of A here. They're just gonna allow the plant to come. And now we've got 5v5 action here as the bomb is planted about 30 to 40 seconds left in this round now iu setting up to make the play yeah we're gonna see two members of iu going through heaven here trying to see if they can find oh we're gonna see the fade alt come out actually to the side of iu saints getting ready to counter this however smart punch gets a, a pick but fourth tapping and m's will not let that happen they get a little bit of revenge in the meantime and we're gonna see sushi doing some damage getting one pick of his own but be smooth picking out three members of saints yeah, B smooth for three, but the tour de force from M's there is going to close out the round. Actually save that one out in the end as B smooth was looking to make that shutdown on the retake there. They found the two in the corner looking to try and find M's. A great nightfall there from Opta. That fade ultimate definitely put the Saints in a tricky position. You saw Borge, the second they got engaged on there after that entry there from the jet it was just forge paranoid can't hear anything nearsighted then flashed followed <laughs> up by the breach Forge nowhere to look as his entire screen is just either black or white at one of those points just absolutely stun locked <laughs> <laughs> looking like a league of legends game <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly so we're gonna see saints moving kind of towards b side here maybe go for a c they're kind of just congregating around the middle of the map on the bottom um, but Jello going to try to push through Garage, see if he can make something happen. Yeah, three players now into Garage, one flashed off of B-Smooth there, B-Smooth for two, even through that door as well, is able to find that one, four tapping and M's, the only ones left now in a 2v5, tough position, especially when M's forced out that off after the last round, he might have to just play it for the save, it's going to be hard to try and make this one happen, you don't really have anything here you can entry with. Exactly, and with Smart Punch in such a great spot right now to be able to cover both uh, uh, entrances to A site, I mean, it's gonna be kinda hard to push past unless both of them peak, but I mean, Ems has an operator, so it's kinda hard for him to peak at the same time as four tapping. Left. At off the off, it's Ems to win that one. 
Smart Punch getting taken down really low. M's for two. This could be possible. Now you're set up in the position where Indiana is pushing into you. Oh, M's has an off in hand. Haunt gonna come out. Shot down immediately, but it slowed the plant enough. They don't know that they're planting in that corner. However, that, that tether was sent towards that middle of the site. Now checking under. Four tapping to fall. M's the only one left here. Whips that shot. Druff to shut it down. Indiana taking another two round lead in this game, but both teams going pretty well back and forth and putting in that value. At least you grab two. Oh, I wonder if saving the AWP might have been a better play. However, now at least your team is on even economy. Yeah, I think they're doing pretty good making sure that it's not like one team is getting 5-0'd and whatnot. It's very close. It's usually two or three people left uh, when the round does end. So, I mean, Saints are doing great. IU is doing great. We'll have to see. It's still a pretty close game. I mean, 5-3 is super mm -hmm. early. I mean, will we see the 9-3 curse? That's the question. That <laughs> is the question. I mean, that would, that would require Indiana to come through with four straight out. rounds here, which is definitely possible with the way they've been playing, especially the eco advantage they're going to have right now. It's pretty much just Ward on this hero. Phantom double blast pack in. Showstopper is popped as well. Nobody on the C site to be found. Fully cleared out. Might be able to find Opted in that corner. Not even going to do any damage. But the Showstopper does its job in terms of clearing things out. Druff, though, going to shut down Sushi Jello. M's to be found. 3k for B Smooth in the snap of a finger. And maybe the 9-3 is possible. Indiana looking like they cannot be stopped right now. B Smooth is coming out with these kills just out of nowhere. He'll, he'll just be... Positioned with his team, and then all of a sudden, Teleport three members of Saints are dead, and it's like, I blinked. I, yeah. I didn't see it happen. <laughs> Literally, like, that entire retake there was just in the snap of a finger. Yeah, exactly. Like I said, you blink and you miss it. Be smooth. Now 11 and 5 in the game. We can't forget about those 10 assists off of those flashes. Forge, the entry from the side of the Saints here. Given a bit of a slow start to this game, one and eight in this performance, doing their job in terms of taking space a lot of the times, but the amount of times we see Forge come in, double blast pack in other games here, and find two or three off of the entry. Stark difference, Indiana, showing they know how to shut down this aggression. Opted, walks forward, finds a little bit of info. Just gonna back off, take what they can get there. Simba to shut down Forge on the entry, the second a shoulder even peeks out. We're gonna see Saints kind of split up here. Uh, take two separate, wow, Simba just got a great headshot on the four tapping there. Opted's gonna take out Jello. Uh, we're gonna see a little bit of a back and forth, but Ems is gonna take out Opted, but Simba is gonna finish it off with a 3K, taking out Ems. Yeah, Simba cleared that out with a headshot while Ems was in the smoke there. Flips to that headhunter as well, and we are gonna be seeing a timeout from the Saints here as these last three rounds kind of have ran away from them. They're definitely going to have to start rethinking things a little bit now. Believe they may have the eco to kind of buy up a little bit. Try to, you know, maybe force something out here. But will they just have to try and play for that 9-3 curse? We're dangerously close to that now, Amanda. Oh, absolutely. I mean, I might have used the caster's curse to call the 9-3 curse in this sense. But, I mean, both teams still playing great. Um, but right now, IU is just a little bit, um, a little bit ahead. Yeah, a hundred percent. And I think it comes from these, almost like the small victories they're finding in rounds. Right, Simba first pick comes out off that op, hasn't lost that op since they bought it as well. This chamber just able to lock down A, which is oftentimes Saints' preferred site to go to. We see them go A nearly every round. It's oh their, yeah, it's their favorite one to play that that post plant on to shut down those retakes, but it's also a tough one to get on when there's only really two ways to entry into A, unless you're going all the way through B and finding your way through a link there. Indiana, full bot once again. They're gonna be absolutely chilling for the rest of this half here, whereas the Saints have to try and force one out now before that last round ends up running away from them. Forge with the Stinger in hand here. They can find a round on the save. They could be in a good position for next round to try and find that 7-5 there, but Opted once again shutting down Borge on the entry. Three for Opted. B-Smooth comes in, making their mark as well. Opted running out mid here, wants to make it the fourth. Prowler to come out. 
Wow, we're gonna see opted with Nothing a fourth perfect. kill here on the M's. That was that, that round was done really Last fast. Yeah. In the, half. the second the entry came off from boards, the kills just started racking up as the team wants to follow boards, right? They want to push into that B, they want to get the plant down immediately. Once your entry is down, they lined up for opted to be able to make that spray down. 13, 4, and 11. Right up there with Smart Punch and B Smooth in terms of kills. In terms of assists, dead even with B Smooth. You can see the amount of value. Prowlers are coming through with the near sight. You see the tether as well has put in a little bit of work. We've seen it come through in a few rounds here, but the haunt has also been a big one. Just those trails to come through off of being spotted out. It lets you know, literally lets you know where the enemies are coming from, or at least where they were at the time, which is always valuable. Any kind of intel you can grab in value in Valorant, sometimes more valuable than finding a kill itself. Oh, absolutely. It looks like we're going to see a C push actually here, uh, which we haven't seen for a little bit from Saints. Maybe it's just what they need to kind of, uh, you know, spark their, uh, uh, their nice passion again. <laughs> we're going to see the, the Fade ult come out across C point. Forge going to get taken out by Druff. Uh, we're gonna see Jello just gonna back up here. Looks like Saints might just try to go A, actually. We have one member over on A. So, and we're gonna see four tapping go and teleport over there as well. So, we're gonna have a quick little uh, uh, traverse over to A and plant. And now they have to hold the site. Uh, nice teleport off that ultimate. Shut down, though. Nobody was expecting Smart Punch to still be there. They were waiting on that rotate towards the other side. Smart Punch, these headshots cannot stop. Tether to come through, Rolling Thunder from Jello. Shut down immediately by B Smooth and Smart Punch. And that is the 9-3 half for Indiana Un for University here on Haven. It is 9-3 curse. I mean, Saints do have a chance now to come back. Um, if they're gonna do it, now is the time. Switching and I mean, sides. we're seeing, we're, we're seeing a lot of uh, kills from the same three members of mm. IU, which is really interesting because usually you see like one, maybe two carries for a team or like those uh, top players on a team, but we're seeing a pretty even spread actually. Like the teamwork is amazing. A hundred percent. I think the fact that they're so close there, that top three on the scoreboard, it really shows, you know, one on each site almost. They've had one on each site throughout that defensive half and everyone's been able to hold it down perfectly opted usually over towards that b site you see simba there helping out hold down a but honestly could take their talent could have taken their talent c because smart punch had that a site on lock but you never refuse some support from a chamber there there's that classic utility combo forge and sushi love to set up with these two agents here the tether into those paint shells if you catch one or two players it's almost a guaranteed kill to come through damage from those paint shells can rack up and you can't run away from them fault line gonna hit out forge there forge finds one with the frenzy starts spamming through that omen smoke forge finds a second a third druff gonna clean them up now down to a 2v2 Rough from the side of Indiana University, low on health. Both players just back out here towards this garden area. Yeah, it looks like they're going to try to rotate maybe towards B here. Or maybe just come right back around. We're going to see M's take out both of them, actually, with uh, the free sheriff that you get from Chambers. Yeah, take those chamber bullets, those headhunter shots. Find the body shots. Didn't even need the headshot. Oh, yeah. Double body shot on the first one. Clean up the last one. Pistol round found for the Saints here on defense. Should be very, very competent in finding this next round. Opted, bringing out the Stinger themselves. I wonder if they're going to sell this. Doesn't seem like the rest of the team kind of on that same uh, wavelength there, but maybe they just want one person to be able to come in, try and clear this one there. out. Opted, looks like they're going to be the first in as well. All this utility coming through. Opted getting deep into sewers here, but Borg shutting them down with that Spectre in the close range. We're finally seeing Saints kind of come out of their shell, a little bit more confidence here, uh, taking charge. Borge maybe getting back into the normal Borge things that he does. <laughs> so uh, we'll have to see how this goes. Jello holding this angle with three members threatening to peek out here on B site. Right there. Uh, but threatening the peek is gonna be tough as this Bulldog can absolutely melt players that are unarmored here. You see that come out in the first kill against Smart Punch. Just a couple of body shots to come through, just a bit of banter, and they're able out 
Find the second pick of the round. Indiana University in a tough spot. Try to make it in here. Simba's on a great flank from this C site, though. Ooh. Nobody's ready for him. Double headshots. Forge finally cleans them up. But that's two kills back to Indiana. That should have never happened to begin with. Oh, absolutely. That was that was a pretty clean kill. To oh, my goodness. <laughs> Beast Smooth is just standing in the corner there. And then the Saints turn around and we're able to get him. But for a second, it, it was kind of like everybody was like, uh, wait a second, you're not on our team. <laughs> Trigger discipline is a must here. Beast Smooth so close to finishing that one off on board. The Aftershock helped as well. Actually killed Sushi on that defuse. Unfortunately, couldn't stall for longer side of IU. Two back to St. Clair College. Now 9-5. Full rifles for the side of IU, and this attack should be all in their hands. You do see a Spectre actually coming out for Opted. Opted going all the way down to zero dollars. Judge from the side of Borge. We know Borge loves to walk up this A side with this Judge. Nice looking skin there, too. Oh, yeah. I like the knife skin, too. I'm so excited to see this Judge play, because I love, I love when people just bring out the Judge and run in. Yeah. So we'll have to see what happens here. Indiana, though, looks like on their buy round, they actually want to take a little bit of a different approach here. Maybe just crowding up against Garage. You see that Ash Shadow smoke come through for Garage window there. Or tapping and M's being the two to hold down this site with Jello rotating over through CT4 support there. These players just waiting to flood out of Garage. You can see them setting up the utility. You see Opted holding that fade utility for so long. There's the fault line to come through as well. M's good for one on the entry. Jello gonna fall in the back line, but M's and 4-tapping still good on this site. 4-tapping with a reposition gets shut down by that Vandal. M's now tethered and decayed down to one health. They just have to wait out this decay, try to get their health back. A couple of shots go through, but the body shots are not good. Bort and Sushi. Spike down. Good for one each. Sushi has to try and make this second kill happen, but the plant has yet to come down. Bomb is down, and Sushi actually has a great line of sight to just kind of jump peek it. Oh, absolutely. Left. If he just kind of waits there, then uh, I have a feeling Find you. they have I a have good chance spike. of winning. Actually, Opted's going to grab the spike, go for the little fake on the plant, but uh, going to try to wrap around, perhaps? Sushi, almost able to peek out and get that, but still at 100 health. Sushi can wait left. this out so, so well. The plant has to come out planted. eventually. This gives Sushi a chance to just kind of shift walk up. Get into a very different position. Often not ready, but the reload. Both players down to about 20, 30 health here. Oh. Opted is going to clean it up. The classic duel in the end. And Opted is going to be the one to win that. The one who shoots first is the one who will find it. And five now. Indiana University. Three rounds from running away from the game. That was so close, that round. I was on the edge of my metaphorical seat. I mean, I'm obviously standing, but... <laughs> That was super close. I mean, Sushi was like one tap away. If, yeah. if his gun hadn't run out of bullets. Yeah, I 100% think he would have cleaned that one up. The Spectre shoots fast enough or he definitely would have found that one before Opted would have made it to the other side of that wall. But sometimes you got to check your ammo count to get into those situations. So Absolutely. Dead. Always, always reload. <laughs> 100%. We see Tour de Force come out here from Simba. Well, as that Cosmic Divide going to be popped. They're going back to the C site. Borge didn't find any with that Showstopper, actually. Four tapping for two. Jello for two. There's only one left. And the Paint Shell to cap it all off from Borge. Finally, Borge finds that Paint Shell kill they love so, so much. Every single round, you're going to see Borge go for some kind of Paint Shell setup. And uh, whether or not it works out is uh, sometimes questionable, but it really just depends on, uh, you know, the uh, the overaggression of the attackers as well as just anytime the attackers don't wait out the utility, Borge easily finds one or two. It's, it's, it's a common trend here with Saints Valorant, but Indiana University now taking this time out. I have to rethink this because Saints have found a lot on defense here and Indiana only one round so far. It's honestly, it's honestly the 9-3 curse. I'm telling you, every single time we see it, 9-3 curse comes out, it's a little bit of an upset. I mean, it could go either team's way right now. But yeah. usually that upset comes in right at that round change. You know, brand new round, uh, economy is reset for everybody, so. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, new round. Players have to try and rethink these. We see the C takes 
Yes, it worked out in the end on the one round for IU, but just absolutely shut down like that by the Saints last round there. And, you know, maybe they're a little privy to these C takes. We saw two ultimates burned and no value found out of it for IU. Now, only the Breach ultimate up. Two players actually one tick away here for St. Clair. You see M's two kills away from that Tour de Force as well. And six. Only four rounds down for the Saints. Would be easy one. Yeah, I mean, to, to tie find. it up. Yeah. Um, especially the with their economy. Well. Yeah, 100%. The op in hand on defense, terrifying to come through. Only a classic 4-4 four, four tapping. Interesting to see, but they may just be trying to play off of, you know, a pick off of this op or something. Try to grab whatever weapon I think IU might have, but three players on IU not even going to pick up a weapon this round, it looks like. We are having a, looks like a bit of a pause here. Yeah, I the timing. think so. Yeah, players are uh, coming through with a pause. We're going to have to see what, <laughs> what exactly the issue is. I mean, this happens in games sometimes. Juice come through, pauses come through. Yeah, we're just going to throw it to a quick little break here. Get this technical pause pick fixed up for everyone. And we will be back with, I believe this is round 17 to come through on Haven. from that short little break. Looks like there was some uh, peripheral problems from the Saints there, but should be all fixed up now. 10 to six, Saints pretty well have the weapon advantage this round. M's getting hit by a lot of utility, but it's chamber in the end. TP back to safety. Find yourself there. Headhunter from the side of Simbo, but a shorty in the back pocket makes them lethal at all ranges here. Oh, absolutely. We're gonna see boards just kind of Peeking, but not really quite peeking out all the way. Just making sure nobody comes through garage. But it looks like uh, B Smooth is gonna try. Maybe. I mean, we see the headhunter out as well for uh, uh, the chamber. So we'll have to see. Uh, rough for them to try and peek through this one way, though. Four tapping set that up just in time. As even more utility burned from Indiana, but no really way for them to walk forward without risking much prowler to come out as well instantly shut down by that shorty but now there's a lot of utility expended from both of these sides and about nothing there. happening from teams find you. Here, opted since that haunt in b seems to be the play on this eco round as five saints gonna collapse from both sides here m's still waiting on this a site as the rest of iu pushes straight through to this a site do they know m's is sitting up here in heaven I don't think they do. I know it's smoked off just in case, but I think planted. they don't know Ems is up there and they don't know that board is all the way over on C right now. So we might see some sort of collapse happen from Saints. Yeah, we see Simba still sitting here around mid looking towards any rotations coming through B, but all the rotations coming from CT in terms of the Saints B smooth. This could be a big rolling thunder. I believe it hit four members there. Boards still finds it while concussed. M's now in that top heaven, making their mark on the play there. Finds a pick, M's for the second one. Jello to finish it off. Players absolutely popping off through the walls there. Now only three rounds out here and looking strong on defense to start off here. Yeah, and we see M still has that operator. Uh, I don't think anybody, actually maybe one member from St. Clair went down there. I believe one fell there, but either way, you see the buys coming through. You see the money in the pocket. 
be smooth just waiting to make their decision here now we're down to about as even as a of a gun round as we've had this half only real advantage coming through with m's on that operator i mean operator the great equalizer here in valorant talk about clicking heads a lot but doesn't matter when you can click bodies with that sniper. <laughs> Borg, <laughs> Borg just creeped all the way up mid here now. Just tucking themselves into this corner. Getting ready for the oh. first pick on that one. Going to be pushed by Smart Punch. And Smart Punch still on their shot even through the second half here. Looks down Borg and now facing the fear here on C. Jello, great rolling thunder. It's two yeah, on the up. site there. Forcing Smart Punch out to the left as well. Ruff didn't get hit long, but flashed out by a great flash from Jello. 3v2. Saints with the numbers advantage. Be smooth oh on the my. flank. Jello, the turn on log shuts them down. I was not expecting that. He just came out of nowhere, and all of a sudden, like, two, almost three members of Saints went down there. And then, luckily, I mean, Saints turned around, and we were like, oh, there's somebody here. <laughs> Hold on, guys. That's on our breach. <laughs> yeah, wait a second. Cello staring down his clone in the face there, <laughs> able to clean it up. But B-Smooth has been a very standout player here for Indiana University. It seems like every round that they're involved in something, right? 2K, 3K coming through. You see a great flank from B-Smooth last round. Tries to save that one for Indiana, but Saints are only two round deficit now here, really turning things around on this defensive side by side after a very rough attacking half for them. Four town shuts four tapping shuts down Druff on the entry. Smart punch with that blade storm is in there. Two for Smart Punch. Jello forced to retreat now. And one player down. Blade Storm still online for Smart Punch. Saints waiting on the plan now. I think Saint's plan here is to just play slow. I mean, bring out the fade ult, and then now just kind of play it pick by pick, and that's exactly what they're doing. Ems takes out B-Smooth. We see Jello push through that's Garage here onto C. Yeah, and you see Smart Punch low on this site. Keeps getting decayed out, but gonna play right on top of those green boxes. Find a third with that Blade Storm. Now, you've got Ems on the retake, 1v2 with the Operator, has to peek their angles oh. right here, down to a 1v1, Smart Punch, a great jump out from the side, 4k on the thrifty Blade Storm, putting in all the value you could ask for. Yeah, that was such a close round, I mean, Ems was just, just a hair off there, um, but it did go to the side of IU with, uh, who was it, was it B-Smooth? Smart Punch. Smart Punch. Smart Punch again. Smart Punch is on a roll today. I mean, 21 kills. You can't you can't argue with that. It's just too good. Ah, but even like we had talked about earlier in the game, you still see how even these kills are spread out between those top three. Simba has even put more on the board now, hitting those double-digit numbers. There's the haunt to come up into Garden. Shut down immediately, but still pretty well defaults being played from Indiana. Gonna be Centering over towards this grass side. Got the one player drop there holding long as well. But Saints, they realize this triple stack on A might have to be adjusted a little bit towards this entry. Ems, my trap. I kind of just want to see them peek out of this. Wow. <laughs> just out of the way of opted sight. Wow, that was just just a hair off there. I mean, Ems with the tour de force is deadly, but we're going to see B-Smooth actually take him out here. Uh, opted. Spike down gonna B. Drop Spike, actually. Four tapping gets three taps, but will he get the fourth? No. Forge will get the fourth. Three out of four. I mean, <laughs> not bad in the end, though. Three taps from four tapping there, and two ultimates now ready on the side of the Saints. Only that rolling thunder for IU. We've seen Borge be able to shut down a lot of plants here just with that showstopper. We've seen it in the past. It's just the second you hear that plant noise, you pop the showstopper. The bomb planter becomes absolutely rightfully terrified at that point. The showstopper flies through. And whether you find a kill or not, it's the fact that you stop the plant that is a big one there to come through. And Borge also been very, very good for two or three on the showstopper very often. If not, just to use it to clear out space. Bomb actually waiting there in spawn. So this is going to be a, a real default from Indiana University. Just playing for picks, waiting 
to see what info, what utility they can grab from the side of St. Clair here. But there's an op on M's peeking down this long A. Board just holding this tight angle here, hoping they'll peek out and not see him. Um, it looks like that might happen, but the Astra is a little a little scared. Not gonna not gonna peek out all the way. Four tapping, maybe trying to force her to peek out, but um, we're still seeing nothing really happening. A few members of IU are moving up through garage, looking to move on to C as well. Yeah, IU pretty much only on pistols here. You see Smart Punch there with that Vandal creeping in Garage. About to come out Garage Link. There's the dash to come out. Now middle of sight. Headshot on 4-tapping through the smoke. The game sense on Smart left. Punch is unmatched here on these entries. Finds a pick. Backs out. That bomb going A. Saints absolutely blindsided by this play. About to be blindsided by B-Smooth and their share. If shuts down M's Jello at least finds the trade before B-Smooth can find any more value. Now down to a 3v3 showstopper available for Borge here. Still yeah. on the site, Simba and Opted only stuck with pistols. Borge coming all the way around yes. on oh, the rotate. Standing. Two kills to shut it down. Just smart punch here. They know he's on flank as well. They could just start defusing this bomb. Yeah, it looks like that's exactly what they're going to do. Uh, Smart Punch gonna peek out and Borge is gonna tap him right on the head, just barely through the wall there. See, after a, granted, a, a terrible first half for Borge. I think Borge ended his cut half like three and three and ten something around those lines. Borge has just absolutely come back on the defense here. 15 and 16, about to break that positive threshold here. Really shutting down a lot of what Indiana wants to do here on attack. Now, we're within one round here in this game, Amanda. Both of these teams, two rounds away for IU, three rounds away for the Saints, and a real chance at overtime. We are so close to an overtime, which uh, we'll have to see if that happens. I mean, maybe one team will come out on top, but... Uh... We'll have to see. We're going to see B-Smooth use some util here, try to push in to a site, but uh, it's not quite going to do too, too much. I mean, Saints are sitting further back on A, so uh, they're going to group up, and it looks like they might also move back towards B, potentially. Yeah, they pretty well know this push is happening now. Rolling Thunder comes through. Those players going to start flooding onto site. Of course, it's Smart Punch in there first. B-Smooth find the first pick. However, Borge is good Spike for two before they fall from the second from Smart Punch. Now, two players left from the Saints here. Spike planted. Going to be four tapping in M's once again. We saw them get so, so close in a very similar situation last time. Where it was M's to down to a 1v1 in the end. Teleport this straight. is not good for M's with the operator. It's a little bit difficult to get any use out of it when the wall is up. Uh, he might have to pull out the pistol. Great Smart punch. TP to clear out that side. He knows that corner is completely free now. Can really just focus on this left side of sight. Four tapping finds opted from the skies here, but M's stuck in a 1v2. Now a 1v1 after a great shot from that classic. No way! Druff, can he get the defuse off or will it tick in time? This oh. is gonna come down to the wire. It pops 12th round for Indiana University. Match point now. What a round from IU. That was end. so close. Wow. M's showing their prowess with that headhunter, showing their prowess just on chamber in general. A great play. You saw the quick TP play. That was a galaxy brain check oh, yeah. of the corner there. Just pull the knife out, get as fast as you can, peek it, and run back. But IU plays the time to a T. Now finds himself at match point. Saints, you have no more margin for error here. Luckily... Your guns mean you're going to have a great way. advantage here into this round, but all it takes is a good blade storm you want from to play? Smart Punch Let's here. Play. Tour we're de Force pop it. as well. Yeah, we're going to see the Tour de Force come out here. Uh, M's with the Operator as well. So, oh, we're going to see M's actually take out B-Smooth, which is a huge pick mm -hmm. uh, for the side of Saints. Yeah, not only is that... One of the key fraggers from Indiana, but also one of their key entry points there. The amount of flashes that have come through to just really shut down a lot of the defense. Bladestorm now shut down. Two players down from the side of Indiana. One player caught out in garage here. Often just 
forced out of there for tapping. Pepper's one down long, finds a second as well. And now it's just opted less left. Flawless comes through Indiana. After that save, now they should have the buys in place here to try and close out this match point. Saints, at this point, you're playing for overtime and you need to make this happen. Absolutely, and I think they might they might very well do it. Uh, like you said, their economy is up significantly. I mean, uh, the side of IU does have guns for the most part here, uh, but they do have light shields, so that is a little bit of a disadvantage uh, for the side of IU. 100%. And light shields are one thing, but when you're playing against a, a raise, that extra 25 <laughs> shield can mean life or death. Especially exactly. when you're just in range of one of those paint shells, you're like, I'm not going to take 25 damage. Lo and behold, you take 25 damage, but lo and behold, it's Simba to find the first pick here in this round. Opening up Garage, also shutting down that Operator from the side of the Saints. Ems getting a little too antsy outside of Garage there, tries to go for that peak, but loses the Chamber Duel. Yeah, we're going to see Borge just going to sit in Garage like he usually does, uh, hoping to see if somebody would peek through there. But, I mean, the side of IU is pretty dispersed right now. They took down M's, and now they're just kind of floating around seeing what exactly, where they should go next. They're kind of playing for picks here. Uh, Fate Ultimate is good onto A, but insta-rotate out just trying to bait. I mean, it's working flawlessly. You see St. Clair start to rotate all players over towards this A side. They realize... Hold on, guys. There's no footsteps on A right now. There's a couple smokes coming out C. Looks like it might be a full rotate now. Saints, they're not actually going to be late to this, though. The plant didn't come out until decently late on the entry there. Borge, there's the paint shell. That's exactly what we were talking about. Plant is still going to be good in the end, but the kill onto Simba is super, super valuable here in this retake. B-Smooth, we've seen them on this so many times before the defuse starts to come through. Kills it before it finds half. They turn around on him. Sushi is good for two. Now down to a 2v2. Nightfall is going to be popped by Sushi, but the, the defuse has to come out at some point, and there it is to come through. IU takes the game 13-11. By just a hair there. That was such a close, close game. Uh, I mean... 12, 13, 11, you can't get any closer than that, really, uh, unless it's an overtime game, yeah. then. <laughs> I mean, so back and forth, Saints have such a strong defensive half, but you can't beat the strong defensive half lead that IU found in that first half. And after that half, right, they, they got to find four rounds. It, that's all they have to find. And as strong as Saints defense looked, four rounds, you're still going to find it eventually there on attack. There's going to be eco rounds from the Saints. There's going to be rounds where the Blade Storm is popped and Smart Punch just goes absolutely crazy with that one. Can't forget about the flanks from B-Smooth as well. But IU showing they are the stronger team here on Haven. But we are going to be back after a short little break for Map 2 Ascent. site back, uh, moving from uh, CT. Got one player here opted on this fade, coming in for the pinch now. Left is the 1v3, finds the first kill, has full utility available. I gonna come out, destroyed immediately, keeps spraying this out. Growler to check the corner, the aftershock from this breach. First one not gonna hit, opted now in the 1v1, 46 health to their name, Jello to finish it off, opted. Five of Saints, which is an interesting pick. 100%. You know, they're on a bit of an eco now. Though they did win that last round. Not everyone had full buy, but Forge, double blast. Uh, we're not going to see too much happening for Saints. Yeah, it's just the plan to come down. Gonna hold this site. They did lose one on the entry, so 5v4 retake for the side of IU. Make that 5v2. A smart punch comes in with two on the entry there. Sushi able to find one before they fall to the few going through heaven here, trying to see if they can find. Oh, we're gonna see the fate ult come out actually. The side of IU. Saints getting ready to counter this. However, 
Smart Punch gets a pick, but more tapping and M will not let that happen. They get a little bit of revenge in the meantime. And we're gonna see Sushi doing some damage, getting one pick of his own, but be smooth. Picking out three members of Saints. Yeah, these moves in that corner not even gonna do any damage, but the showstopper does its job in terms of clearing things out. Druff though, gonna shut down Sushi Jello. M's to be found. 3k for B Smooth and then plant. And now they have to hold the site. Nice teleport off that ultimate. Shut down though. Nobody was expecting Smart Punch to still be there. They were waiting on that rotate towards the other side. Smart Punch, these headshots cannot stop. Tether to come through. Rolling Thunder from Jello. Shut down immediately by B Smooth and Smart Punch. And that is the 9 3. Back out here for Smart Punch. Yeah, it looks like they're gonna try to rotate maybe towards B here. Or maybe just come right back around. We're gonna see M's take out both of them actually with the, the free plant has to come out eventually to give Sushi a chance to just kind of shift walk up to a very different position. Often not ready, but the reload. Both players down to about 20, 30 health here. Oh. Often is gonna clean it up the classic here. It's down to Origin now. Facing the fear here on C. Jello, great rolling thunder. Hits two on the site there, forcing Smart Punch out to the left as well. Druff didn't get hit long, but flashed out by a great flash from Jello. 3v2. Saints with the numbers advantage. B Smooth on oh the my. flank. Jello, the turn on log shuts them down. Not getting decayed out, but gonna play right on top of those green boxes. Find a third with that blade storm now. You've got M's on the retake, 1v2 with the operator, has to peek their angle oh. right here, down to a 1v1, Smart Punch, a great jump out from the side, 4k on the four tapping find opted from the skies here, but M's stuck in a 1v2, now a 1v1, after a great shot from that classic. No way! Druff, can he get the defuse off, or will it take in time? This oh. is gonna come down to the wire, it pops, 12th round for it. Try to take this site back. Uh, moving from uh, CT. What is CT? Got one player here opted on it.
Welcome back, everybody. We are back with more Saints Valorant up against Indiana University. Uh, and last game was a really, really tight game between the two. But Indiana University came out on top 13 to 11. 13 to 11, indeed. IU just that much stronger on that Haven map. And it came off of a very strong defensive half. A 9 3 start from Indiana. Only. Really making them have to find four rounds there on the attack. However, Saints showed almost as strong of a defensive half themselves. So close to taking it to overtime within that one round. But that decisive final round in the end went to the way of IU. Really thanks to another crazy flank from Beastmooth in the end there. He's able to shut down the defuse and then there was no smokes left for the Saints. But here as we get into Ascent... This is a map that we've seen the Saints very comfortable on. You see Jello now back on that KO. They're really their main pick for this map. And we've seen Borg switch up a lot here on Ascent. We've seen the Rays. We've seen the Jet. But here they're going to opt for the Rays. Just keep the Rays going. They had a bit of a slow game to start last time on attack. But really picked it up in that defensive half. Borge now feeling nice and warm on this raise. And you see the same setup about to come through here over towards B Garage. It's going to have to be IU to be ready for that one. You see they're waiting back. They're not going to step forward. going to see some Util come out early here for the side of Saints. But uh, not too much happening. I mean, Ems is going to teleport. But they're just going to move on to b site here. Saints going to hold those angles, see if they can stop that from happening. But the smoke is in a great spot. Yeah, Haunt going to get shut down immediately. But the quick dash off of Smart Punch, able to find Borge as well. Sushi shut down by that chamber by Simba there. And now it's free reign of the site for the side of IU. Another very, very aggressive pistol round start. And to another pistol round win. You're already two players up. You've got the bomb planted. It's a tough retake for the Saints to try and make here, but when it's M's with the headhunter in their hand, nothing is impossible. The first pick to come out opted. Great peek there. Great swing on the trade. Shuts down M's. Now, players left for the Saints. Four tapping dangerously low. Gets shot down by Smart Punch. Able to find one. Pushing onto the site here. Smart Punch finds the third of the pistol round. Once again, this Jet absolutely going on a killing spree. Three kills to start out the game. And it makes sense why Smart Punch doesn't swap off of the Jet as well. I mean, you're doing so dominantly. Instead of, you know, swapping to another agent, maybe trying something different for this map, mm -hmm. uh, sticking with the same thing. You know, if it works, if, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Exactly. And Jet as well, just a great pick on this map still. You can still... Especially, I'm thinking mostly on that defensive side. You've got so many great angles where you can just sit there with an op and peek out, dash away if you need it. Then, of course, you've got Simba there, another prime candidate for that op. But being able to have two characters that can kind of flip-flop around can really keep things unpredictable on that defense. Now, smoke comes through for the side of IU. They're going to push through. That's a great smoke for them to be able to lurk into arches there a little bit. Ems takes a little bit of damage, forces the TP out. Side of IU, moving back towards this B site once again. It looks like they do like that B site. It did work for them last round, so they're probably going to try it again. Um, I'm gonna see smokes come out here from the side of IU. Sushi just gonna hold this angle. Does get spotted out here. Orange here for support, but both of them getting shut down from two separate angles. B smooth on that Spectre as well. Spectres all around. For the side of IU. Jello is not ready for this close angle. Beast Smooth doesn't even get tapped out. No Four tapping. Good for two taps in the end, but Beast Smooth with the third kill. Switching to that classic, cleaning that one up. Beast Smooth once again finds their way to the top of that leaderboard. Two rounds for IU. It's the same thing we saw. The pistol round cleaned up by IU. Able to find the second as well. This time, though, on the attack start here. Saints back in this position where third round, they find the buys. They have the rifles in hand. Should all the cards point to them winning this round like usual when you've got those full rifles. But player like Smart Punch with flanks from Beast Move coming through. 
Going to be tough still for the Saints. As this IU team has shown, they are very, very strong. Especially on Eco. Get him. Absolutely. Borge going to throw out his bomb buddy here. Not going to find anybody. But Sushi also going to throw out his util. See if he can find anything. Oh, actually, Smart Punch gets taken down by Sushi here pretty early in the round. Opted's going to take out Jello, but Borge is going to so. get be smooth and M's going to take out one of his own as well. Yeah, one per player here. She finds one, Borge finds one. M's spotted out Druff there. He's walking remaining. forward very, very Spot fast, but it doesn't matter if they let those footsteps off as able to win that gunfight. Opted now stuck mid archer here, just waiting for that body shot. Ems is good for three. Clapping right back there against IU on their first buy round. But now IU is going to be the one with the rifles in their hands. And a couple Saints kind of uh, kind of got empty pockets this round. Yeah, they, uh, they do. But I mean, right now we're seeing Ems kind of on a little bit of a roll. 100%. Despite yeah. the empty pockets, you know, still able to make uh, uh, make it work and get that work done. 100%. Sushi there. Force on to that Spectre. You see a Judge as well from 4-tapping. 4-tapping playing here on B. Looks like they're going to be sitting in that kind of that logs, that pocket area. A great spot for the Judge to be at, especially when it's been Smart Punch dashing in towards Boathouse every single time. Having that judge playing very very close and just able to shut down anyone who follows in after smart punch because you're not going to catch the jet on the dash but you can definitely catch the three players that are going to come following them smart punch here here a lot of control of mid all the way up cat now too could find themselves in the sights of jello or sushi here though see that crossfire set up in tree the brothers gonna be playing off of each other as you players start to creep up B here for IU for tapping. Be repositioning on this site. Yeah, it looks like they're going to try to creep up their way towards B here. But um, we're seeing for tapping reposition almost as if they're not heading there. Uh, no utility is actually going to land from the side of IU. Oh, wow. M's is perfectly set up on site here. Flicks around for the other one. What a turn. Two kills for M's now. Spike is down. Jello is able to come in from the back, but opted with two. Brings it back. B smooth down to a 2v2 now after a kill from him. Four tapping in this smoke with the judge. However, that's going to be a dangerous one to push into. B smooth still hasn't been able to grab this bomb either. Running back and forth, back and forth, taking so much damage. This KO is the last one left. Jumping shot from four tapping triple with the judge exactly what you want to see when that shotgun is picked up and the calm patient play from the saints just allow iu to come to you the judge is going to make its mark on that round tying it up here at 2-2 we can hear everybody popping off in the nest now after that round you know morale's up a little bit um saints able to buy again here so and it looks like iu is going to have to force or save but, I mean, B-Smooth does have a fair amount of creds if he wanted to buy, but it doesn't look like he really is going to. Could if they wanted to, but not going to come through. Keep the team on similar levels of weaponry here. Once again, though, B-Sight seems to be the play here for this IU squad. Ems makes it out, takes 100 damage to boot. No shields left, but... The health still left in the tank. Tour de force on line now as well. Opted. Starts walking up mid with the sheriff. Walks out one. Sees the jump peak, but actually ends up taking a couple wall bangs themselves. Uses a big chunk of shields there. Borge to shut down the first one on the entry. Oh. The second, the third. 3k for Borge. Opted the only player left alive from IU. And it's looking close to a flawless here for the Saints. It's all up to Opted to clear this one out. Grenade to come through. Paint shells are good. Borge right behind Opted, but just flies right out of his view. <laughs> the FOV not wide enough for him there. Opted able to find a second one as well. Good for two before four tapping finds the shutdown. That 3k by Borge was beautiful. Just one, two, three. Mm -hmm. Done. Ah. I love the sound of it in the game when the, the little uh, noise the gun makes when you get like multiple kills. So yeah. good. Yeah, the kill noise. I love the way it like goes up too. It's like ding, yeah. ding, ding, and it keeps going, right? 
great. It's so satisfying. Yeah, it definitely, <laughs> definitely helps make the taps really satisfying as well. Anytime you oh, see yeah. a, a quick one tap and hear the little ding after it, super, super satisfying. Forge, though, you're not going to need one taps when you've got a phantom in your hand. You're able to just spray through that smoke. Smoke out arches here from the Dolmen of Rough. Forge mid. shuts him down quickly, but the smart punch is right there on the trade. 4v4. Smart punch. Good for one in this round so far. Yeah, we're going to see Ems just waiting patiently here. Gets a pick onto Smart Punch. Huge pick for the side of Saints. Yeah, keeps the Tour de Force alive as well. Not going to get traded out as they were not forced to burn that TP right at the starting of the round like we see so, so often. They were able to wait out a couple of seconds and watch that thanks to that smoke and thanks to the pick from Borge as well. Now, 4v3. Player advantage towards St. Clair. Uh, it's two players set up towards A site here for IU, but Simba here on the chamber has to make a run for that spike towards top mid, and it's going to chunk a lot of time waiting here for this execute to come out. However, 40 seconds, still a decent amount to work with. And with one Saint on the B site there, it's going to be numbers advantage or pretty well even. Four tapping. Yeah, four tapping is going to get taken out there. Ems with another pick with the Tour de Force. Another one, too. He gets three picks for the Tour de Force this round. Tour de Force. Going to be finding all the value you could ask for. Three, three kills found by Ems there. That Tour de Force. Nine and two. Operator in hand now. Or Vandals as well. Side of IU. Stuck on an eco here. Yeah, this looks like it's going to be a little bit tougher for Saints right now to, or for IU to kind of come back after this um, with a little bit of the economy disparity, but it shouldn't be too, shouldn't be too hard. I mean, there are a few members that are popping off on the side of IU, so you never know. Economy isn't everything. Yeah, 100%. I mean, Simba with a headhunter in their hand. Oh, yeah. A little bit means, scary. <laughs> economy means nothing when you've got a pocket guardian in your hands there. Forge has to creep back in tree. Here's the quick execute from IU. Has to come through. Jello just absolutely lost on site after being nearsighted by that paranoia. Roomba to come through. Not actually going to end up popping for any damage, though. Oh, man. All of these ultimates invested from IU. They want to make this eco round work. Spike is down. Four tapping finds the first pick. Which is a great start for Saints here. We are four and four. We're nice and tied up here. Oh, we're actually with Simba on the flank. Gonna get a pick onto four tapping. Druff gonna take out Borge, but Sushi gonna take out Druff in exchange. Ems with the operator gets a nice pick onto Simba. One more person left on the side of IU. Opted. Didn't really know where Opted is, was, but. The defuse is good in the end. Opted just a fraction of a second too late there on the swing. Able to find that defuse. Saints up three rounds now here on defense. Five in a row for them. Yeah, that's really nice for, um, especially for morale and everything. When you get those rounds back to back to back, you're kind of on a little bit of a roll. Once you get the momentum going, it's very easy to keep it going. Rather than when maybe you lost a round or two, it's a little bit harder to, you know, get back into the swing of things. A hundred percent. We talk about it a lot here on the stream. Saints being like a streaky team is what we like to say, where it's when they're finding their rounds, they're going to keep that going, keep it rolling for... It's very often we see Saints take five, six, seven rounds in a row before the other team can find one, but very much a double-edged sword as we saw last round on that defensive half or on the attacking round for the Saints. IU, when they're able to find rounds and able to keep them coming as well, Saints, sometimes they can get you know stuck in a bit of a rut, and once your economy goes down, very hard to come back from that until that half reset. Here, another a site execute from the side of IU, although full rifles in hands now for this one. Smart Punch already deep into the site. Two flankers here from the Saints. Orange Showstopper is up, finds the first one. He spotted the other one out wide. Should be able to send a Roomba down there. Sends it out, shut down by Sushi. Simba is good for two. Well, the peaks come out. Simba, the only one left on site here from IU. Nice pick by Sushi here, just peeking out. 
with the headshot and Sushi and Jello, the twins, left standing. Twins there for the repeat there for the retake as well. Sushi is good for three in that round. Finally coming in, finding their multi-kills. We've been seeing so much in these past few weeks from Sushi. Been absolutely on top of things. And now Operator back in the hands of M's 11 and 3 in this game right now. A big reason that the Saints have been able to find six rounds in a row here. M's just coming through with a ton of picks off the starting of the round. M's is looking absolutely dominant today. Just crushing it. An op on you want the to play? site here. Let's play. Nobody really stacked up Garage, but IU, they like to wait this out very far out because they know those paint shells could possibly come through right into Garage. Comboed up with that fade utility, but M's... We've seen him be happy on this map before to just sit there, be garage, and not move a muscle for about a minute and a half. We've seen that before. We're seeing it right now. Prowler comes out. Just going to wait. Tries to time one out. Eek. Not going to be immediately after that Prowler comes. And not necessarily going to see the flood of bodies that Ems is normally expecting here as Deanna taking it very slow, waiting for this setup here. Yeah, very, very slow match so far here. We are hearing some, you know, shots through the smoke. Actually, Simba is going to get Borge with the Tour de Force. Smart Punch looking to make something happen. Jello going to pop onto site here, see if he can see anything. Not quite yet. Still very slow. It looks like we're going to see IU peek out here in just a moment. Four tapping. Going to take out Druff and Simba. Sushi going to take out Smart Punch, but Smart Punch is going to take out 4-tapping in exchange. Yeah, 2v2 after all is said and done. It's M's and Sushi left on this one versus the double Careful initiator here. opted. And I believe that's B-Smooth there on the, chamber, or the KO. Going to be making Five this planted. plant. Less than 10 seconds left. Knife is going to be good. Careful Not going to spot anyone out. Not going to suppress anyone just yet. So the util still in hand. Seven seconds on Sushi's own haunt after they shut down Opted's there. They know Opted is under heaven. They're just waiting for the double swing there. Great flash out. It's going to make that happen. Two kills are good. Going to give that one to Sushi as well. Allow him to grab the ultimate point there. Closer to that Nightfall, which is a great one to shut down any push that might come out of Indiana. And here, St. Clair on Ascent, showing a defensive half to Indiana, like exactly what Indiana had showed to them in that first half of Haven. Absolutely. That teamwork from St. Clair right now is beautiful. That double peak just dropping down at the exact same time, getting the kills at the exact same time. Just beautiful. Yeah, 100%. Like, working like a well-oiled machine, like a hive mind. Both of them know exactly what the other is thinking. Communication is super tight from this team, or sometimes we like to call communication the power of friendship here on this channel. Long story, <laughs> but first pick from Ems is good, and an easy TP out there is IU. Now might have to rethink their entry strategy as they're missing a key part of that, which is that fade. Yeah, we're going to see Smart Punch here with the knives out, looking for a pick. Trying to start this initiation here. Not going to find anybody quite yet. Saints are further back in the map. But you never know. Four yeah. tapping is coming closer and closer. Yeah, it, it barely does four tapping actually peak this mid part. But they do love to sit there CT and wait for anything like this. That Smart Punch might try to pull. However, Smart Punch not actually going to spot anyone out. Saints very out of sight. In terms of Indiana's sight lines here. Now, here's the push to come through. Dash out is good. Four tapping is good for two. Spotted out through the wall. Sushi, their own utility, gonna find them that kill. 30 seconds Druff left. is the only one left. Bomb in hand. And I have that ultimate as well. The teleport from the Omen could be good for some kind of fake out plays, but Saints can just stick two players to a sight now and wait for IU to make the play. Exactly. That's the beauty of the position that they're in here. Looks like Saints are actually moved left. off of the uh, ace site. So they're not going to see this. They're going to hear it and come running over. But you see Druff just kind of hide in uh, 
the cover here. In the smoke, actually. Uh, his own smoke. Dave eventually walks through and just gets spammed through that smoke by Sushi. 8 2 to come through in this half now. Saints coming out of a close first game, a rough loss for them. Definitely gonna hit them in the mentals a little bit, but bouncing back in game two here. 8 to 2 right now. Big, big lead. Timeout to come through and for this timeout too. Might actually have some instant replays of the rest of this game here. But so far, Saints have been just coming through and dominating here in the first half here on defense. Absolutely. I mean, 8-2, to two, you can't argue with that. It's just an absolutely beautiful performance from Saints right now, especially coming back from uh, that game there. Yeah, 100%. We can take a look at one of these replays from the rounds here. One that, uh, you know, we talked about a little bit going into the analysis, but that's going to be that Borge 3K there on the defense. You see this spray down through the smoke here, and this is literally exactly where the momentum started. Two and two, Indiana has yet to find a round after this. Borge just spraying down this entire team and starting that momentum coming in from that round. And keeping it for six rounds straight after that. Yeah, absolutely. Just wonderful plays here, especially Borge and M's right now are just popping off. So it's great to see. Yeah, look at that scoreboard right now. Borge, seven and nine, yes, but every single time they're somehow involved in the play, it seems like it's a, a 2K or a 3K coming in. It's just been a lot of Borge getting picked off in, on the entries, and that comes off the of smart punch just being an absolutely crazy mechanical player. Crazy shots coming out from this player. You see right on top of Borge there, and somehow ekes it out in the close quarters. Borge blindsided by that dash in from the Jet Sushi. Good for two. Gonna shut down B Smooth, but the Null Command is still online. They're gonna have to start spraying him down, but four tapping for the third one. There, nine to two. Looking Last very round, plausible to close this out at 10-2 here in the first half. Look at that. Just wonderful plays here by everybody. Saints just looking dominant now. I mean, first game, it was very, very back and forth. But this game so far, Saints are looking very, like, on top of it. We're going to see 8,000 creds for Jello right now. 8,750 creds for Jello right now. And uh, he's sitting pretty. Yeah, I mean, when you haven't lost a round in literally nine rounds, I mean, there's, there's not much to buy when you've got three players living every single time. This same entry onto the B site, it's the flashes of success that we've seen from Indiana. They're just going to keep it going. Those dashes in from Smart Punch has always been good for at least one and not even going to get traded out this time. However, Smart Punch very, very low. It's just going to take one stray bullet through a wall here to find them. Four players from the Saints now on the retake. Druff is being for a rude awakening as Borge comes across this corner. Druff is good for one. Jello going to be good on the swing there after the fact. Three, three, four here. But Smart Punch is good for a second before they fall as well. M's able to find one. Nine, three to end off the half here. Oh no, not again. The curse. <laughs> the 9-3 curse. curse. It's going to come back here and now. Seeing what Saints can do on that defending side. Let's see what they can make happen here on the attack. Because it was a tough attack from Indiana. But... We kind of saw that on Haven as well. It was that defensive team, regardless of who was on defense there, just finding tons of rounds in a row there. But I don't think I've ever seen a nine-round streak like that before. Oh, yeah. Like, that was just, like, insane for Saints to just go nine rounds, not drop a single one of them. Uh, but, I mean, it is a 9-3 curse, so you never know. You never know what could happen next. Yeah. There, there's a reason it's, it's a concept, right? Exactly. <laughs> Somebody may find themselves on the end of this curse here, but Saints have to try and convert this in the same situation as Indiana last game where you've only got to find four rounds on this attacking side to really make something happen. And if you can find the pistol round, you've all but guaranteed yourself the win. Absolutely. Looks like Jello is going to push through here. He's going to make his way over to A site. Nobody's on site, so... Oh, actually, Spike is going to be dropped here. Um, 
Ems is going to get a pick on a Smart Punch as well, which is pretty big. B-Smooth trying to get a pick through the garage door, but it doesn't quite work. Four tapping is going to take out Opted. Uh, Jello is going to take out B-Smooth as well. And Saints are planting. Yeah, B-Smooth falling is big. He was good for two already on that defense, which is a little crack in the smoke. Four tapping. I believe that's their second in the round. They know exactly where this omen is. <laughs> Third for four tapping. The tables are being banged very loud over that wall there, but... The Saints definitely in high spirits this game as they found that pistol round. And you see Indiana, now they they kind of have to try and force this one. You can't let Saints run away all the way to 11 there. That's just too much of a gap to overcome sometimes. Exactly. Just, uh, it's a little intimidating when you see, you know, 9-3 is one thing, but 10-3, it's a little bit, uh... Scary. I mean, we're going to see a force buy here come through for the side of IU with some stingers. It's a little bit difficult to keep up um, if you lose, you know, the first round there. But uh, we'll have to see. Borge is going to get taken out first by Opted. Jello going to take out Gruff. Uh, we're going to see Simba trying to get something with the Headhunter, but Four Tapping is going to take him out. No charges left. Uh, Vandal is going to be found in this round for Four Tapping as well. Opted still in the control room there able to find one and Saints now down and out on site here down to a 2v2 Jello now in the 1v1 Jello at 33 health Jello finds it with the 4k the and force is not good from Indiana and Saints have found themselves number 12 or number 11 there and we are hearing the walls around us shake as they slam the desks in excitement in the room next to us. Uh, it's wonderful to, to see the morale is up now. You know, after the first game that we saw, it was so tight and they lost by just a hair. Now we're seeing just an absolutely dominant performance from Saints um, and the morale just being through the roof. Uh, I mean, Saints themselves, Coach Hybrid themselves said, you know, it's going to be a close one for sure, but they were looking to try and find a 2-0 in this one. However, Indiana shuts that down in the first game. Simba going to shut down Borge on the entry. That raise entry, not as safe as the jet entry that we'd seen from Smart Punch here. Sushi able to finally trade one back. Finds a second. Four tapping good with that Vandal as well. Shut down by Druff in the corner. Druff's got a Vandal in hand now too. Sushi good for three. Druff in the 1v2. Only going to take a body shot to shut down M's though. It's a little bit scary here for Druff because he can only watch one angle at a time. He's actually going to get a pick, but Saints are going to win the round. Sushi getting a 4K. Just back Sushi's back going nuts point. right now. Back to back 4Ks from the Twins. We saw Jello last round find a 4K. Sushi to clean this one up with a 4K. And you see, I mean, just look at the scoreboards here. It's that same kind of situation from last game. We're seeing, you know, up into the double digits for multiple members of the Saints here, whereas... Although it is that same three players there, Opted Simba, Smart Punch there from Indiana to find themselves on the top of the leaderboard. But negative from all these players. It's just been a rough game for Indiana in all terms of the play. They've they found the picks, but it's very hard for them to clean out this round. It's just been absolute clutch moments from the Saints. You see, they find all these picks on the entries. They did the same thing last round. Somehow, off the back of Sushi, Saints were able to just convert that last one. But... No command is down. Borge is down. Jello is down. 3v5 for the Saints in this back to the round. Yeah, this is tight. This is a very, very tight match here. Um, but there are three members of Saints alive. Two members now and four members of IU. They are fighting for their lives. Sushi going to get one kill here. Can he get a second one? We shall see. He's going to get blinded out. Going to move back a little bit. M's going to try to help him out there by watching the angle as well. Look at the health pools on Indiana right now. This is not going to be hard to find a quick, easy spray down. A very risky TP from Druff. Going to get capitalized on. Two kills now from St. Clair. They are on the verge of match point here. On the verge of making this 1-1. Keep in mind, this is losers as well. Whichever team drops out of this series is going to be out of Seaval North. Now down to a 1v1 for the win. But Simba cleans it up with a 3k. Keeping us in this game for more rounds to come. Fourth round, finally, a round found by IU here on the defense. Saints sitting on match point, That's and a good spot. it's going to be eight rounds Indiana has to take back in a row here. It is a tall task, but 
We did see them dominant defense there on Haven. They might just have to try and tap in to whatever they found last game there on Haven. See if they can find this one here. But it's going to be a tall task. Saints are just that close to the win here. Looks like we're going to see a little bit of an uh, equal round for Saints here. Um, so maybe they're looking to win the next round. I mean, we're going to see Borge run in with the shorty. Not going to find anything, but it was a good attempt. Ems yeah. with the headhunter as well, trying to look for something. Yeah, I think Borge thought they were going to catch him off guard because Borge Spike always down. jumps into the control panel there to shut down the thing. He never jumps into market itself, but doing that, able to find some M's here in market. Shuts one down, one more with the headhunter, but Simba closes it out once again. Defenders find their second round in a row. Saints should be back on the bye here this round. And now, Gun here. this is going to be the dead even round that should, you know, decide the game here if Saints are able to find it. However, actually, we are going to have Op v Op because that Tour de Force is ready for M's. You see him able to pass some of that money over towards another player to buy one up for them and then kind of chill with that Tour de Force. 18 kills from M's. A lot of those play, have been on the off this game as well. See, you want to play? Let's play. Saints up in that tour de force. Going to be walking up towards mid, taking a lot of control mid, moving straight into market. Trademark is down. But now, they've shut down all the intel that AI you can gather. Now, play it slow. Just walk up this cat here. Start to flood out. Have to wait out this molly, however. Looks like Jello is going to take the lead here to push through. Saints going... Oh! Sushi's going to get caught out in the smoke here by B-Smooth. Yeah, a bit of a running spray too through the smoke. Able to find that one. Borge, good for a headshot on to Druff. Have to shut down Simba on this operator. He's sitting in the dark cover there. Wow, his crosshair is in a great spot, but the timing is just not there. He's not going to want to force out a shot, give away his position. Sprays through one. Able to peek out, find that shot onto Jello, but the spike is planted. 3v3, Tour de Force still in hand for M's. He's going to be able to play from Garage there. Two kills come through. There it is. Saints close it out dominantly. 13-5 there up against IU here, taking the series to 1-1. One, one. And I feel like this is the first time I've said this probably since like 2021. We're going to be headed to map three Icebox next. That is insane. I mean, we don't see Icebox like ever. So mm -hmm. this could really go either way. I think it's just a lot of these collegiate teams are, you know, very comfortable playing these four maps, essentially, obviously split no longer in that pool. So they're very comfortable playing like the original three maps to come out in the game, essentially, that are still left with us. But... Icebox is a very big switch up, something we haven't seen in a long time. Sure, the meta from the time last time I casted it has shifted at least on that map specifically, but wouldn't be surprised if Viper still going to see on that map. I know Astra was a pretty strong pick on there, but I don't think we've really seen the Icebox map since Astra's rework, at least here in Collegiate. So it's going to be interesting to see what these teams end up picking up, but we will be back right after another short little break with Map 3 Icebox. This is smokes come out here from the side of IU. Sushi is going to hold this angle. Does get spotted out here. Support, but both of them getting shut down from two separate angles. Be smooth on that Spectre as well. Spectres all around for the side of IU. Jello is not ready for this close angle. Be smooth doesn't even get tapped out. No for tapping. Good for two taps in the end, but Be smooth with gonna take out Jello, but Borge is gonna get Be smooth, and M's gonna take out one of his own as well. Ah, one per player here. She finds one, Borg finds one, M spotted out Druff there. He's walking forward very, very fast, but it doesn't matter. They let those footsteps off as in that gunfight opted. Now stuck mid arches here, just waiting for that body. We'll see four tapping reposition, almost as if they're not heading there. Utility is actually gonna land from the side of 
IU ends is perfectly set up on site here. Flicks around for the other one. What a turn. Two kills for Ems now. So walk them in with the Sheriff. No one sees the jump peak, but actually ends up taking a couple of things themselves. This is a big chunk of shields there. Forge to shut down the first one on the entry. Oh. The second, the third. 3K for Forge opted the only four. We're nice and tied up here. Oh, we're actually with Simba on the flank. Gonna get a pick onto fourth tapping. Druff gonna take out Borge, but Sushi gonna take out Druff in exchange. Ems with the operator gets a nice pick onto Simba. One more person left on the side of IU. Opted. Didn't really know where Opted is was, but takes two flankers here from the Saints. Forge showstopper is up, finds the first one. He spotted the other one out wide. To be able to send down there, sends it out, Shut down by Sushi, Simba is good for two, so the peaks come out, Simba, the only one left on site here for Mayu. Nice pick by Sushi here, just peeking out, for the KO, going to be making this plant, less than 10 seconds left, I think it's going to be good, not going to spot anyone out, not going to suppress anyone just yet, so the util still in hand, seven seconds on Sushi's own haunt. Opted there. They know Opted is under heaven. They're just waiting for the double swing there. Great flash out. It's gonna make like this. The Smart Punch might try to pull. However, Smart Punch not actually gonna spot anyone out. Saints very out of sight in terms of Indiana's sight lines here. Now here's the push to come through. Dash out is good. Four tapping is good for two. Spotted out through the wall. Sushi, their own utility gonna find them that kill. Off. In, on the entries, and that comes off of Smart Punch just being an absolutely crazy mechanical player. The crazy shots coming out from this player. You see right on top of Ford there, and somehow ekes it out in the closed quarters. Ford blindsided by that dash in from the Jet Sushi. Good for two. Gonna shut down B-Smooth, but the Null Command is still online. They're gonna have to start spraying down, but four tapping for the- It doesn't quite work. Four tapping is gonna take out Opted. Uh, Jello is gonna take out B-Smooth as well. And Saints are planting. Yeah, he's smooth falling is big. He was good for two already on that defense. Just a little crack in the smoke for tapping. I believe that's their second in the round. They know exactly where this open is. <laughs> Third for four tapping. The tables are great, but four tapping is going to take him out. No uh, Vandal is going to be found in this round for four tapping as well. Opted still in the control room there. Find one and Saints now. Out and out on site here, down to a 2v2. Jello now in the 1v1. Jello at 33 health. Jello finds it with the 4k. The and force is not good from down. A very risky TP from Druff. Gonna get capitalized on. Two kills now from St. Clair. They are on the verge of match point here, on the verge of making this 1 1. Keep in mind, this is losers as well. Whichever team drops out of this series is gonna be out of. Eval North now down to a 1v1 for the win, but Simba cleans it up. This is smokes come out here from the side of IU.
Here for map three, one one. Both of these teams see Val North playoffs hopes on the line here. Whoever takes this is gonna be moving on. The loser will find themselves knocked out of this C Val bracket here in round round two, I believe this is of losers here. We're gonna see. There we go. The Vipers come through as expected there. A couple sages as well. Sova, a very liked pick on this map and M's on the Reyna. Reyna, very interesting pick here, man. <laughs> I don't think we've seen Reyna picked in Collegiate since early, early infant stages of Valorant because it's pretty accepted that Reyna, I mean, you have to find kills really to be useful. And the blind, it's not the best flash in the game there. So it's a very interesting pick. Not a very, uh, not a very loved one by the community, let's say, but... Gonna have to see what M's can pull out with this one. We're not seeing any duelists whatsoever on the side of IU. I mean, it's weird because Smart Punch was on that jet like crazy, so you'd think they'd pull something out there, but it looks like we're gonna see them on the Sova. Yeah, I mean, duelists are an interesting one here on Icebox too, because it's a, it's a map that lends really well to Chamber. Uh, just with all the long sight lines you can find, Chamber has so many great angles they can sit there on, as well as having that trademark helps out a ton, being able to shut off any wide rotation. You see him set it up there, more so in that spawn area, just trying to cut off any flank rotations there through uh, through that A side. Going to be IU starting here on attack. I feel like Icebox itself, pretty attacker-sided map. It's very easy to find yourself on to these sites and just find an opening there, especially with something like a Viper in tow. Jello, send that recon dart all the way back to spawn here at the starting. Not ready. Yeah, we're going to see smoke come up for the side of IU. Nothing too crazy yet. Still beginning of the round. Jello going to do a little bit of a rotation here. Up to B Smooth. Find that first pick onto the opposing Viper there. M's good for one. Now, this is where the Reyna can really come become useful, but they fall to Smart Punch. Three on the Sova. You can take the player off of Jet, but you cannot stop the pistol round. 3Ks there. IU <laughs> finding the first one here on Icebox. Yeah, IU looking for a good start here. Um, so we're going to see Simba on the Marshall actually. Uh, a Bulldog come out for Druff as well, and the rest are going to be Spectres. Saints are going to stick with their pistols uh, and try to, like, save some of that money for hopefully the next round. Yeah. Going to keep on the pistols here. Frenzy on that Reyna might try to just... Oh, it's actually going to be a Sheriff. Which two of the starting of the round. Pushes forward, gets spotted out. That dart, though, first kill is going to be good on Simba. M's. 
wants to move out back towards this site here as IU can now just flood into the A site. This is exactly what I was talking about. It's so open for these attackers to just walk forward, especially with those ropes. You can fly into the site. Now, just I believe that's four tapping here on the Killjoy left. 1v4 situation. Killjoy is one of those agents that I love just because she is so, like, uh, versatile, you know? Like, she has a little bit of everything in her kit. I really enjoy playing her, but uh, it looks like it just wasn't enough here for Saints. Yeah, especially when Killjoy set up over there towards B, right? You have a ton of options in terms of grabbing intel, lockdown. You can pretty much set that turret up somewhere like mid or over towards that B site and essentially have it watch an angle for you. And of course, you've got that alarm bot. You've got the nanoswarms there, the microwaves. They're able to just lock down an entire length of area there. Looks like four tapping hasn't set them up necessarily towards the starting of this round. Might be playing for some lineups after the post plant or just doesn't want to commit them all to B and then have the entire side of Indiana head A like they exactly are doing right now. Sushi set up with a decent angle on this wall to be able to pop one through it. Not going to actually get found, but take a little bit of fall damage in the process. I didn't even know you could take fall damage in Malakrain, I'm going to be honest. Yeah, maybe he hit space there off the top. I'm not exactly sure if you take fall damage every single time off of that one. But, yeah, and he takes about 15. IU, though, not able to really find much onto this site just yet. Really waiting for this Viper wall to fall off of the start have to wait for that. You can see the utility being set up by the Sova. Pop flash to come out from Opted. And the push is good. Opted finds the first one on the board. Sushi locked down under rafters here. Finds one. Reposition onto site. Finds a second, but gonna fall to be smooth. Can't close out that kill. Jello able to find that trade. Four tapping, good for one. Presence is detected. No utility left. Double kill for four tapping, no. Oh, look at that. Cleans up it up with a 3k in the end. Finds the defuse as well. Four tapping on that Killjoy. Rerunning back that pistol round and finding the victory this time. Four tapping with the three tapping to get the round closed. Great one from the Saints there. Timeout to start here. Possibly now that they've got some, uh, some money in their hands or at least they found the win. They don't necessarily have the money on all the players to make this buy here, but you're going to have one Vandal at least for the side of the Saints, whereas IU now might have to sit here and uh, and buy some, buy up some rifles. I'm not sure exactly where their economy is sitting, but they've been able to like take that bonus and, and keep those weapons from that second round there, then they should be good to buy out this round and really meet the Saints' aggression head on there or find their own aggression over towards the A site like they've been loving to do recently. Oh, yeah. And I think what Saints are doing or what they did in the beginning of the round was really smart. You know, uh, just play with pistols for two rounds. You know, even though we lose, then the third round, we have the better guns because they're spending all their money mm -hmm. on, you know, the slightly better guns than us each time. So I think that was uh, a good play on their part rather than trying to match um, mm -hmm. to be able to get that win. Yeah, a lot of the times we have seen the Saints recently try to force out on that second round. But like you said, sometimes it's just a better option to wait it out till that third round. Make sure you can actually get your Vandal buys, your Phantom buys to come through because you don't win that force. You're stuck in a dangerous position. You're stuck down in rounds so so often sometimes down to four rounds you can't find those buys recon dart immediately shut down even with a different spot these players are on top of that one hello playing close up mid here with the specter they've only really got smgs to play with so it's gonna be a close range game this round in terms of the saints game plan however iu with full rifles he can actually play a much slower game than they have been before, as now they know they have the advantage in the long range. Absolutely. And it looks like we're going to see another push towards A here, potentially. They set up the Viper Wall to B, maybe to try to fake them out a little bit, but uh, it's going to be A again. Yeah, Opted able to just move forward here. You know, that classic jump there to get on top. This higher ground here, but now... Just gonna have to be the first one to really hold this. Opted, tossing that knife. 
Not gonna be able to get into the site. First finds Borg on that Sage. Pop flash down to the bottom, but Jello shuts down Opted. Simba and Beast Food come back with two kills of their own, clearing out that site. Now it's gonna be the retake from M's and four tapping. Four tapping coming off of a very hot round last time. Able to find that first headshot is M's. Now make it in there. Two Leers as well as the Empress in their arsenal here. Four tapping cleans up another one. Smart punch is gonna you fall down. You see the lockdown come here from the Killjoy. Druff able to get the res off and find a kill onto four tapping leaving M's in this 1v3. The lockdown is still gonna come through. Can find that one kill, but now 1v2, the bomb ticking away. Tap that remains. one out, finds the first kill. This is good for three, has to wait for that peak, but the bomb is gonna explode eventually. IU able to just take that time and run away with it. Both players gonna live in the end there, but the spike exploding means another round win for IU. Very smart play though by M's instead of, you know, just trying to stick it, just waiting it out, save, and you'll get him next round, right? Yeah, you're so. able to find a few, you find a kill, and you're able to really shut down any of the value found off of that res, but round win is a round win in the end, and Indiana will take those. Now, able to keep those rifles going for most of their members there, Simba. Tour de Force in the pocket there as well. So full buy. You want to again, play? Now, Let's again, play. Saints back on the eco round. Ooh, we're going to see the recon dart come out, but get shot away. It still gives you some info, though, that there is somebody there, even if you can't see where they are. But um, it looks like we're actually going to see a B push this time, or they're making it look like that, at least. SCC looking to wrap around IU here and... Uh, you know, kind of take them by surprise. Yeah, actually have a lot of players on this flank here, right there. They move Boys very far me. up mid here. This could be the one thing that might actually catch Boys IU off guard is flank from the Saints. The Saints have not been very heavy on the flanks recently. M's finds the first pick, second through that Viper wall as well. Board and Sushi finds the kills on sight in a thrifty round for the Saints ends up coming through off the back of that flank, off the back of a double from M's there. Picks up that round. Now, not gonna be as down and out as previously thought. Got a ton of rifles in hand. Absolutely. I mean, that round there was beautiful. Having that many people flank and then just kind of having the one person on point to distract worked out great because they thought like, oh, everybody else is on A or maybe there's one or two more people on B. They weren't thinking, oh, they're behind us. Right so it turned out great in their favor. Yeah, exactly. And even with that Viper wall to kind of, you know, they couldn't necessarily see it through the Viper wall, but when you've got Arena spraying down there, I think they burnt ultimate as well there. It's just gonna have that increased fire rate spray through that wall there, through any kind of smoke, any kind of vision blockage. As long as you can spray through it, you can still do damage. Be smooth. Takes a lot of the starting of the round. I believe that was from a shock dart. Now sitting in front of Tube here, but most of the players moving towards A. Double kill on A for the side of the Saints. M's going to take the life of that player there. Uh, I'm surprised that he didn't get killed by the other player, yeah. uh, but, you know, he's very lucky in that sense and also skilled. So we'll have to see what happens next. Opted going to just hold this angle. Um... See if he can find anything, but Saints are hiding pretty good. M's gonna get another one down a. and uh, one hide away. Remaining. Getting the good use out of that Reyna, but four tapping with the 3k as well. A flawless for the team to come through. Four tapping, that utility, great usage there. Shuts down all those entrances towards that A site. And if, if they're gonna be stacking up A site, by all means, you should put that Killjoy utility there. You've got other people who can hold down that B site pretty easily, especially if you're going to be setting up things like Viper Smokes, Viper Walls. You've got M's there on the B site as well. M's on this Reyna so far has been looking almost unstoppable in some of these gunfights. It always just takes a second person, a third person to finally come through and find those kills. Yeah, we're going to see the Recon Dart come out. Not going to get anything here. Opted, going to try to go in. Just waiting on that Sage Ice. Going to see if they can find anything yet. Not quite. Opted almost takes out a member of Saints, but 
doesn't quite happen. Druff is going to plant. Optin's going to go down, waiting for that revive and four tapping, seeing if he can do things that four tapping does. Yeah, to pop in, down into the Viper's pit though. Be smooth, waiting for that one. And all of the Saints falling in droves here. Sushi picks one up through that Viper standing. pit once again. Sushi, the 1v3 enemy Viper pit online and active. Drops down onto Smart Punch. Now stuck in the Viper pit, decaying down. And the spike is taking away once again. Running out of time. Druff is going to find that kill after Sushi decayed all the way down to 1 HP there. And... With the use of ultimates there from IU, that round all but secured. Great entry from the KO, and then you drop that Viper's Pit as well to just make that defuse so hard to find. Absolutely. We're going to see about the same amount of uh, guns coming out here from each side. Um, Saints have a little bit of a better econ right now, but, I mean, and better shields, but that's not everything, as we said, like... Every once in a while, you'll get one or two players that just pop off, and it doesn't really matter, right? Uh, so we'll have to see what happens. Yeah, exactly. We've seen it in this series so much. One player will come in with a sheriff. Maybe it's one of these chambers with that headhunter in hand and just start absolutely knocking heads off the board. Ems to right find here. the first one with that op, and Ems switches off the chamber. Still <laughs> still going to take the op into their hands here. Reyna... I guess Reyna's a solid choice. You still have your dismiss there to be able to make it out, not get traded out, not give that off away, but you know, one down at the start of this round. And now, Rez ready to come through back to a 5v5 here. Uh, Yeah, we're going to see right now, everybody's kind of spread out. We're not seeing the Saints kind of moving in right now to where this um, Viper pit is. Or sorry, not Viper Pit, <laughs> where the Viper Wall is. Um, they're going to go over to A, which they're kind of just staying at right now. 100%. You see IU starting to play off of their own Viper utility now, but that alarm left. bot should be able to let them know some are going to be coming towards B site here. Not just yet. It is going to be shot out. You see that Nano Swarm come out. Stall the plant as long as possible. M's. Now able to rotate back with this operator as well. The rest Spike of the team going to rotate back. Leave that Viper's Pit over towards A. And with that shot, it's M's there as the enemy IU players rotate out. Now they get to play this post plant all the way from the main there. It's going to be hard to try and find this plant. You see Hunter's Fury coming through. Able to find one is Smart Punch. Four tapping. Good for three in the end. Good for three in so many of these rounds. B-Smooth coming in on the flank. The defuse not going to be good. Smart Punch shuts it down with a third. IU running away with this lead right now on Icebox. Smart Punch happens to just come out of nowhere every time and just take the round. Yeah. Just one of those players that, you know, really takes advantage of the situation. Yeah, and you talked about in the agent select. It's interesting that there's no duelist, right? But yeah. when you take that duelist player, throw them on another character, seems to not <laughs> seems to not matter in the end. They're still going to find themselves at the top of that leaderboard. And of course, see B Smooth up there as well. Druff having a much nicer game for themselves. One of those players who took a much more supportive role was just kind of playing smokes the last few games here. But going to be picking up this Sage here on Icebox and Finding a lot of value to boot. The Sage Wall has been critical for finding a lot of these plants and getting these boot plants plays started. Ems gets shut down. An unfortunate angle. Can't find the head. They're going to get sprayed down by Opted there. Sushi tag down to 11 as IU. That is their green light to get on to this site here. They found a pick. They've got this Viper Wall up. They know they found a little bit of damage as well. I see Sushi gets a little bit of healing. And uh, Saints are 4-5 to five right now in terms of players up. But, you know, that doesn't mean anything quite yet. Still pretty even amount of players on both sides. Yeah, very easy for a 1-2k to come in and really just have to drive the player advantage. There's the Molly to come through from Optid. Shuts down any push from Snowman there from that CT side. Jello will find that pick on to Druff there, but... Um, is now planted. Killjoy ult gonna come down from four tapping. Four tapping keeps finding three Ks like he has been. That Killjoy ult is gonna be up a surprising amount of rounds here. 
how the defuse can come through. Be smooth coming in from the back, but the defuse is going to be good. Can't do much when that lockdown is popped, but Be smooth able to find one on the exit. We end with, I think that was both teams had three players alive there to end out that round. Yeah, that was interesting. You don't see that very often. It's, uh, it's really an interesting round when that comes through off the back of that lockdown there. You can't push into the lockdown. They didn't really have the Hunter's Fury up to try and counter it. They had burnt that the other round before their last round win. So Saints able to run away with that one. Start evening up this lead a little bit more. We're seeing a very tight half, something that we haven't seen in either of these games. Both halves, or all the halves in these first two games were dominant for one side, to say the least. However, Icebox here, as we said, not a very popular pick here in Collegiate. We see both of these teams now a lot more even on the playing field here on Icebox. We're seeing Saints kind of stack over on A with one or two stragglers over on B, but we're going to see another A push for the side of IU. Opted, going to take out Borge right off the bat. Going to zoom in, take out another member of Saints, Jello, but M's going to take out Opted in B way there. Yeah, still going to have that null command up though, still going to be able to get res for a few more seconds, but it's going to be hard for a player to get up there and actually find the res. However, that constant wave of suppression is really hard to try and deal with as you're trying to move on to this site. You have no utility to clear anything out, and now smooth all the way back that top rafters there once again the same setup from the side of iu there's here on the post plant smart punch able to find one peeks out finds the second as well smart punch cannot stop finding kills but neither can m's m's here the time is ticking away you're not going to have time for the defuse but can you find the kill finds the third drop to clean them out that is going to be another round win for Indiana University. Now, the closest possible half we could have there is a 6-6. Six, six, but would be easy for IU to run away with a couple of round wins here, especially with all the weaponry in their hands. Unlike the previous games, we will not see a 9-3 curse this time. <laughs> we are at 4-6, and six, so that possibility is out of the window. Physically impossible here, although, funny story... Uh, now that I'm thinking about it, the 9-3 curse never actually cur cursed anyone in these last four rounds. It looked close in oh, that yeah. even game, 100%, but Indiana snuck away Standing with ahead. it, which is also uh, good news for us because it means we haven't also cast our curse by uh, talking about the 9-3 curse. Yeah, exactly. Looks like we're going to see another A push here for the side of IU. Um, Saints oh, are a little... It, actually, no, they're not split up. I am incorrect. They are kind of just like positioning themselves on the A point. They know they're there. Jello spots them out. Gonna take the bulldog here, see if he can find anything. Yeah, great eco weapon. You're good in close range. It's got a decent fire rate to come out. And then once you ADS, that burst can be absolutely lethal. Sometimes you don't need a full rifle in hand. Definitely don't need a rifle when Ems has that sniper in hand, that operator able to find the first pick, a second one to follow up from Borge on the Sage there. Be smooth get picked out by four tapping here on that B site four as well. I thought it was actually Sushi, but four tapping from the long range there under two finds the tap as well. Simba shuts down Sushi, no Viper on site, but they have to try and make this plant and those nano swarms are swarming. Yeah, this is a little bit difficult, but they do manage to do it. There is four members of SEC versus one member of IU right now. Although Smart Punch is doing some work. I mean, Smart Punch, you never know, right? It could be 5v1 if Smart Punch still makes it work. Yeah, it's the taps we expect from the player at this point. But 1v5 is hard to deal with nonetheless. Player is going to keep Last running at you, and eventually Saints are able to take him down there. Six to five. Now, timeout going to be coming out from Opted here from the side of IU. Really, I mean, yeah, use the last timeout you've got in the half. Come into this last round and try to make it 7-5 because really any advantage you can take from the half is, is one you'll run away with. Absolutely. But I mean, it would be really cool to see a 6-6. Six, six. I think that would be kind of nice to go into the next round even uh, and see how they do. Yeah, 100% Saints going to be moving on to offense after this half and see 
I want to see exactly how IU plays the defense because we know how Saints mm -hmm. like to play it. They're pretty comfortable leaving mid open, just allow the utility to cover that. Usually it's four tapping sitting there under the uh, under the tube, checking out mid or tossing a shock dart there or a, a recon dart from uh, who's on the sofa. I'm I'm, bl <laughs> I'm blanking for a sec here, but yeah, either way, it's interesting that they let mid pretty well be free, and uh, IU seems to have not really taken account of that they they haven't really noticed that uh mid's pretty well wide open there they haven't really been taking advantage of it but it's also hard to find your way down through mid there's only really two ways out of there so that that they don't want to lock themselves into a corner or are they just comfortable taking these a sites because the a site has been very very successful for them saints they've definitely been able to you shut it to down play, but once that plant play. comes down it seems like iu is able to just run away with the round I think A-side is definitely, like, most people's favorite just because it's it's a little... I feel like it's a little bit easier to take, but I guess it could all depend on your perspective, right? I mean, we're going to see Simba, the tour de force against M's here, going to take him out right at the beginning. Uh, so that is going to be a little bit of a disadvantage for Saints. Yeah. As you can see, now actually, Saints do put up two players mid here in this round. Jello. Gonna clear it out. Maybe they're gonna push forward, try and find a flank here. But IU hasn't necessarily showed their cards here on A yet. They're doing this classic setup, bait out that utility. You see Borge open up those slow orbs. Eventually, that Sage is gonna run out of utility, and that is gonna be that go mode, that green light for IU to start this push. They've already found the pick. They know that duelist is out of the way. Borge here, though, a judge could be very hard to deal with. IU finds himself caught out in a close quarter. Especially at this position here. Oh, just as I was about to say it, a judge is deadly. Simba is going to get a kill on the Tour de Force, although Jello gonna use his Vandal, get a kill on Opted. Jello gonna take out Ruff with the ultimate. Not gonna get a second one, but did do a little bit of damage on the members of IU. Yeah, just a fraction of a second too late there for Jello though right as here. that Hunter's Fury not gonna stop the plant and now Jello and four tapping in the 2v3 post plant situation. I don't think IU is yet to lose one of these post plants yet that they, they found on A. Maybe one round Saints were able to find it. The defuse comes through. Jello clutches it out in the end. 6-6 six, six, half, Amanda, you called it. Wow, I was not expecting that. I was just kind of in my mind. I was like, <laughs> oh, well, I guess IU wins it. And then all of a sudden it was just defuse. Okay, I, I guess Jello did it. I, I heard that Jello had hopped that defuse. I couldn't see that he was still sticking it though. Yeah, Kinda I thought he was faking it. out of nowhere there, but Jello is able to stick that one out. Just hold that four key down, find that defuse. We are dead even here on Icebox. And I mean, new map to come through. You can't ask for more. Now, only seven rounds these players need to find that either of these teams need to find. But we are dead even. Saints, see if you can make this attacking half have a bit ahead. more advantage than you did on that defense. Ruff, already burning that wall towards elbow there. Yeah, we're going to see... IU again going for that A push. Saints kind of prepared for it already, so they're going to move there as well. Uh, looks like we might actually see a flank here down mid or uh, down uh, B, but I'm not 100% sure. It looks like we're going to put four towards A, but Ems is going to take out Druff right away. Uh, Sushi looking to get a pick. Didn't quite happen. Smart Punch and B Smooth going to get a pick as well. Sushi, the right click comes through there in mid. That headshot is going to land. Find that kill. Now, post plant is good. 3v3. Jello can't spam out. Opted up top there. The ghost is going to win that out in the end. Four tapping is the only one left. The defuse ends up coming through. Four tapping finds a 3k in the end. So, going to grab a little bit of money for themselves, but they lose the pistol round here. Uh, not too bad for SCC in that sense, just because of being able to eliminate the other members of the team. A little bit of extra cash, but, you know, for IU, it also is really good because they were able to defuse the spike, get some cash for that. Yeah, so. you win that pistol round, and it's going to help you out so, so much in the long term. But Saints here, this is the risky play. This is their 50-50 
play that they like to do here after. It's going to be forcing out here on the attacking side. Trying to presumably, right, the, the play is you win this round and then IU has already burnt all of their cash. And now they're in the, the situation where they have to wait out a round and have to save a round. But Simba here with that Marshall, it's not going to be good. That's because M's had that light armor, the body shot. Not going to be good. Simba was not ready for that. Was literally aimed at body height because you'd expect them not to have armor. He thinks he's going to find that one shot. But M shuts him down. Able to regain back to almost full health there. Overhealed to about 124. Exactly 124 there. Opted here in the top of sight with the Spectre. Going to spam a few out across that knife. See who they can find to suppress. Actually suppresses three. The bomb is down. Spike is down and three players only alive for Indiana. You see Opted try to flash over here, but Ems is going to take him out. Smart Punch going to take out Ems, and Sushi is going to take out Smart Punch. We are 4v1 for Saints. Yeah, rough here. In the 1v4, Spike is taking away. This is a hard one to win, especially because you don't have any weaponry advantage. It's Spectre v Spectre. Four tapping ends up winning that one out, and the 50-50 gamble has paid off. You see the economy from the side of IU now. Now it's like St. Clair College just won their own pistol round. IU doesn't have much to play with. And Saints, you see M's there, the only player that ended up falling for the Saints. He's able to just come back, buy up a Vandal. Yeah, that's uh that ends up working out really well in their favor there. I mean, and now IU has to forced to be using pistols now uh, because they just don't have the money to try to force at all. Yeah, they don't have the money for much at all there. Sushi located out there in mid. Still playing with this bulldog here. Bulldog, great weapon to be using down mid there. As I said, with that ADS burst, really shut down, especially unarmored opponents like you're finding this round. They spot the chamber up in the top. Simba, I don't even think he took damage there before TPing out to safety, but that's good info to be found. Be smooth. Very low from this decay, but those mollies are going to slow down the Saints push immensely. The rest of this Indiana side is able to rotate over now. Saints, four of them stuck behind yellow box here. See, Saints really like pushing towards this B site, and IU like pushing towards the A site. We're actually going to see M's is going to take out B smooth. Uh, Sushi is going to get Simba. M's going to take out Opted. Wait. I didn't even realize they have a Killjoy ult third round. Yeah. Yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty nuts. Yeah, I, and that all started with that 3k from 4-tapping in the pistol round. It confirms the plan for them. Sushi playing so far off here. I mean, perfect gamble works out in that second round of the half and it just converts into this third round now able to keep this going you're not even necessarily too far behind in weapons here yeah like right now they're pretty even i mean not completely but they're pretty close yeah, um like we're seeing like a few specters and a bulldog for saint Clair, but other than that i mean we are seeing two vandals on the side of saint Clair as well yeah, and that Vandal is in Ems's hand here. I mean, that Vandal in the hands of that Reyna. It's very easy for Reyna to find one. Make that into two, three. You just start running away with that round. The picks you can find off the start are going to help immensely there. Absolutely. See, Sushi is going to make his way up here with the Bulldog again. Simba with the Spectre, I do believe. Vandal. Yeah, have that octopus there helping him, helping him out. <laughs> I didn't recognize the, the gun because of the the octopus. <laughs> yeah. yeah, although I, I like the aquarium skin. I think it's yeah, nice. it's got some good sounds as well. But Borg starts oh, off this push, which pick on the B smooth. Sage gonna be shut world. down in the end, but the Viper's pick comes through. Didn't necessarily need the sage wall there for the plant there, and now Viper's pit is a hard one to deal with. You see Simba. Already down to one health here on the DK. Sushi just barely out of sight there. But that Nano Swarm going to clean up Simba. That's the problem when you're sitting at one health trying to make that defuse happen. The Mollies. This can just be played so slow. It's just utility based here. But now the Viper Pit falls immediately. M's Vandal in hand going to help try and clean this one up. And Vandal's 
from three players here. Now 9-7 for the Saints here. The first large lead we've seen in this game since I think the first half or about halfway through that. Yeah, and I mean, we're hearing yelling and cheering in the nest next to us, so that's always a good thing. Um, means that they are doing well. We see now IU forced back to this eco buy after that was their buy round get shut down even by a few specters and a bulldog. They just get shut down by execution of utility. Perfect placement of that Viper's hit. And then of course, the three players to finish it off in the end. That being M's before tapping. I believe it was Jello to help out with that one as well. M's pops the entry Empress. And this is gonna start the entry here move through that viper wall now players are on to this a site here the entire side of iu playing off of site simba tagged down Spike all planted. the way over towards that b link there kind of scared him away there <laughs> yeah, yeah literally and now it's a tough rotation for him too he can't necessarily peek out but he can if he's gonna find the headshot onto four tapping four tapping falls now they know there's one player on that flank M's Able to dismiss out, find the healing, find the dismiss as well. Keep that Empress going, stack it back up, finds another kill. Hems still on a tear with this ultimate right now. Able to find a few more. Hops up that rope, finds one more. It's just Simba left on this one. Simba now has a rifle in hand, but Ems is in a better position. 4K off the back of that Reina ultimate. That was beautiful. That was absolutely beautiful. You love to see Reina ults like that. Or you hate it. I mean, it depends. It depends on your perspective of it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that was a great round. It was really interesting too because uh, IU decided to use two marshals, mm -hmm. uh, which I was not expecting. Usually, like you don't usually see that. Yeah, you know? especially especially when one of them wasn't Simba either. One of them yeah. wasn't the Chamber, right? The character that you would initially think to throw that marshal on. However. Sometimes when you're on that eco round, I guess just throw that marshal out there because you never know when that headshot is going to be found. All it takes is one there to clean up just about anybody as it does. I think it's over 200 damage there on the headshot, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. And yeah, it's a, it's a great eco round weapon to buy there, but just shut down by the movement there, the taps from M's, And of course, that Reina ultimate just bringing them to safety every single time. Yeah, that Reina ultimate, that was... Just beautiful. Like I said, I love Reyna's ultimate. I know some people love it, some people hate it. I love I love to play Reyna and use her ultimate. I hate playing against her when she uses her ultimate. So. Yeah, when that <laughs> that solo queue Reyna pops into <laughs> your game on the enemy team and you know it's <laughs> you know they're that player when they've got the streamer mode on and it just says Reyna. No nickname there, <laughs> yeah, no exactly. name tag to be found. But Saints, now three rounds up in a very good position here. Look at the economy. Two players over 6k, one player about to break five there. And Saints, comfortable to buy for a few more rounds after this, even if they do drop one or two. Simba, peeking out mid there. That's out that turret, but forcing out a few ob shots and burning that TP just to find that turret there mid. Saints, perfectly happy with that. They know that TP is not going to be up for a little bit longer in the game here. Ems peeks a little too far out of that Viper wall. The timing... Not going to be good. Opted. He's out on Raptors. They're going to find M's to start off this round. We are going to see Druff with the... Bring out the heals a little bit, but... Going to end up just going to point. Going to see exactly what they're planning. We're going to see Sushi push up, actually, onto B. Get a pick there onto B Smooth. And uh, now... They've got not necessarily control of this B site, but enough control to be able to get the plant down. The typical plant setup that we like to see from the Saints here. I'm gonna just soak that last Hunter Fury shot. Jello takes a little bit of damage, but forces that plant down. Now, Sushi, sitting here, yellow box, suppressed. Not gonna get hit by this Molly just yet, though. Peeks out onto Opted. Opted, quick one tap onto Sushi. Pop Flash comes out, but Jello gonna swing that one before. Smart Punch cleaning that one up on the trade. 2v4 now on the retake. IU got the Viper's Pit in hand. They've got it half as well. They're able to just stick this one out. And that's the eighth round. IU not out just yet here. Yeah, this is this is close. This is reminding me of the first game already. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're getting closer and closer here. 10-8. Um, I mean, that is almost as close as you can get. I mean, 10-9, 10-10. But still, like... 
it's a pretty close round so far, except for economy. Saints economy is a lot better right now. However, we do see IU bringing out the op. So they are doing well as well. Yeah, they keep that op from last round. You see Bulldog and Light Armor here on the defense, but we saw from the Saints that you can put in work with that Bulldog. You can put in work with these eco weapons on defense as long as you're playing your positioning right. And IU definitely knows how to do that on defense here. They've been playing some really tricky angles for the Saints to try and clear out. And it's taken a lot of crazy shots from M's and, you know, sometimes probably just lucky timing as well to be able to find some of these kills. However, Viper's Pit is popped there over towards B. So Saints would be comfortable just rotating over towards A, but they're sticking three players out in front of this Viper's Pit, just making sure... Nobody wants to use that as cover to start a flank here. Exactly. Still, we're kind of in base right now, just kind of hanging out, seeing what happens. Um, but it looks like Saints are moving more towards the A site. Yeah, 45 seconds. The timer has ticked down. We're a minute into this round now. Just utility being exchanged so far, but... Saints realize they're not going to be able to make much of a play with that Getting Viper's ahead. Pit. Smart Punch making the play down mid. Finds the first kill, first left. two kills. Opted. Picks up the third one for the team there. And now it's M's and 4-tapping here. The Killjoy Reina combo. 4-tapping. Cleans up Simba on the site. That is the Operator down as well. Opted has been on his shot this game so so well all of these kills to come through from opted for tapping here in the 1v2 playing killjoy as well spots out one behind him but has that utility out can't pull out the gun in time 10 9 now this is coming down to the wire amanda i don't know which of these teams is even going to run away with it because it's so back and forth yeah this is a big game to win as well so we're gonna have to see what happens we're very 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 close here again economy fairly close saints are running out of money though they are getting pretty low so they have to win this round if they want to continue matching with iu yeah definitely although iu still not necessarily in the best terms of money themselves but a couple round wins in a row will definitely keep your rifles keep your op they rebuy that op or simba there Back in hand, or possibly just picked it up from last round as well. Standing ahead. Able to keep that equipment value in hand. Should be a good recon dart to come through. Not sure if it spotted anyone out. Didn't look like it necessarily. Beast move very close on this angle here. Beast move shuts down two. Drop finds another beast move for three. Can you find it with that right click? Four tapping in the close range. Gonna win that classic duel. But somehow, in the snap of a fingers, we're down to a 2v3. There's been five kills in this round already. Opted suppress on the site. All these players spotted out. Opted getting down to five health, but we're back to four tapping in the 1v3 clutch here. This time, though, Spike is not planted. And four tapping has to try and make this work. 10 10 now as Opted cleans up that kill. Indiana University, they've made the comeback in this half. They've tied it back up after being down four rounds, three or four rounds. Hybrid going to be calling this time out for the Saints with the scores being tied up. This is the prime position for a timeout to come through. Let these players give them a minute to think about it. Start talking with the team, talking with the coach. All right, what's our plan coming in to these next rounds here? I'm starting to sweat a little bit. I mean, it's a pretty it's a pretty close game right now. We were close before. Now it's down to the wire. 10-10. We're right at the end of the game. Uh, literally three more rounds uh, for one team, and they win. So, I mean, it could be as many as six, I think. I'm not 100% sure. Or more, but we'll have to see. We can go on and on if these players want to keep it into overtime. But, I mean, eventually one of these teams is going to find this, the lead. One of these teams is going to find the win. And keep in mind, this is the C-Val North playoffs on the line. This is the loser's round. So, Whichever team falls here is going to be heading home from this bracket from Seaval itself here. Definitely a very uh, a big game on the line here. A lot of consequences to be had after this game here. So much on the line for both of these teams. The playoffs hopes in their sights here. 10-10 tied up. We're going to see Saints kind of half forcing here 
see if they can get this round. It looks kind of tough right now. I mean, you just see Suchi with the Sheriff, so that makes me a little nervous. <laughs> but you never know. Like, Sheriff can do some work. Yeah, I think we saw two or three Sheriffs to come through. Four capping. Finds a Vandal in hand there. It's gonna be really one of their... Uh, their points of hope here in this round is that Vandal on four tapping, not to mention you've got a Hunter's Fury, you've got a Lockdown in the cards as well. IU though, Simba, got the off in hand, doesn't need to burn that Tour de Force just yet, finds the first pick, doesn't have to burn the TP either. Opted with a great tap, Opted has been on fire this game. Absolutely, Opted has been literally like opping with the Vandal, just <laughs> getting those headshots. So. We'll have to see what happens here. There are five members of IU, three members of Saints. Still could be anyone's game. Although Sushi does get taken down by Druff, it is looking more and more grim for Saints. But Borge is planting on A, so you never left. know. Yeah, a site left pretty well wide open. Hyper Utility gonna come down from IU. M's playing up in this top area. It's just gonna take one pick, but it's not gonna be good. B Smooth finds that. Opted shuts down Borge as well. And unfortunately for the Saints, IU gonna run away with this one. Find the lead and find their fourth round in a row now. Once again, only two away from victory here. This is looking eerily similar to map one. Yes, this is down to the wire. We are 10-11 right now. Uh, even buys, it's really anybody's game. So we'll have to see what happens here. I mean, four rounds in a row for IU. It is looking good for them. Yeah, 100%. Operator still in the hands there. Three ultimates ready from both sides with more on the way. IU, however... Seems like they've found out what works on this defense and it's just been finding the pick at the starting of all of these rounds. Saints have went from absolutely dominating in a lot of these executes to losing that first pick a lot of the time before tapping. Gonna change that story right there. Find the first pick for themselves now. Numbers advantage to Saints as they're able to walk forward for the push. Drop that Viper's pit as well. We're gonna actually see the Soba drone come out, but not quite spot. Saints planting the bomb, so they're not 100% sure where it is. Opted going to go through the Viper Pit. Down to one health here because of the decay. As Simba has that shot onto board here. Sushi has to creep out of his own Viper Pit there. Going to shoot that Molly as well. Finds one. Yellow finds the other. The brothers link up for a double kill there. Smart Punch coming around. Yellow Box finds two. Absolute head clicker here from Indiana. But M's coming back on that flank, evening it back up for the Saints. 11-11. We are this close to overtime. All it's going to take is one team to find two in a row to find this victory. But overtime definitely also on the horizon with how back and forth these teams have been. Saints. All you gotta do is find two IU. All you gotta do is find two up. Still in hand for Simba. Able to rebuy that one up as well. Tour de force online as well. So even if that, you know, op ends up changing hands or something of the like, you still have that in the back pocket as well. But I'm gonna stick to the same defense plan because in the end, it works out for them most of the time here. Just happened to be one of those rounds where Saints found that first pick. Absolutely. Simba with the op, always scary. So, looks like Saints aren't trying to cross his path. Looks like they're gonna go A. Gonna have to see Smart Punch watching mid here. They are gonna pop the Viper Smoke, but it's not really gonna do much. Yeah, Viper Smoke. Pop down mid, but I don't think anyone wants to creep up behind that smoke. Especially with Smart Punch there. That's just going to end up with you uh, spectating your teammates in the end a lot of the time. Yeah, exactly. Forge pushing through that slow orb and the Viper Wall to be able to get onto site. But Druff shuts down. them down. That spike down on oh. site now. This is a terrible position for the Saints to be in. Opted finds a little flash off the wall there. And a flash up M's, but M's not caught out just yet. But standing out there in the open when the Viper Wall falls and Smart Punch finds their first kill of the round. Saints... Tough position in a 3v5 there. Opted stuck in the corner. Sushi sprays them down through that Viper run. wall. Be smooth in the Boxes top of sight down. here. 
Lockdown gonna be popped from four tapping here on the Killjoy. But Beast Moves in a perfect position to at least find one, find a second. Can they find the third? Druff finishes it off with the third before that lockdown pops. Saints thought they were safe, but no one from IU is gonna run away from that lockdown. They're gonna hold fast and go for the kills. They Will found... we see an overtime? That's Will the question. Is the question. Saints, it's all down to this. This is your C Val hopes on the line here. IU, the 15 seed coming into this, seeded lower than the Saints, but within three team margin there. And we can see, I mean, perfectly encapsulates the seeding right here with teams so close in this series so far. 1 1, last map down to the wire. Indiana finds himself on match point. M's gonna run into this Viper Pit fall initially. Two kills, three kills go over to Indiana. This is looking all but over for the Saints. Sushi left in a clutch position to try and close this one out. Sushi, you're the last line of defense. Falls in the Viper Pit and that is it. It's gonna be Indiana University moving on in the lower rounds here and see Val North taking that in a nail biter of a series here, Amanda. And Saints, that's gonna be your run for C Val there, unfortunately, dropping in a very close set, but that is gonna be it. IU moving on to face the the winner of, I believe it's TMU and Waterloo Gold there. So two Canadian teams that are very, very strong in their own right there as well. IU. Probably going to have a tough time in this bracket coming up as well as this bracket gets farther. It's just weeding out these teams and you are left with nothing but the strongest here in the north. Absolutely. But, I mean, it was a great game today by both teams. Uh, we saw a lot of wonderful plays. Lots of 4Ks. No 5Ks, but, I mean... Maybe, yeah. maybe next time. Yeah, ton of back-to-back -back 4Ks, though, too. Oh, we yeah. Saw a ton of rounds with just multi-kill, 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 but that is going to close us out for the day here as the Saints, their playoff dreams are going to fall apart here in the losers' round. They are going to fall to the IU Hoosiers here in 2-1 fashion. Very close game, and as we close things out, got to give a big thanks to our production team here. Ryan on the directing. Casper back in for the observing, doing a great job once again. And big thanks to you, Amanda. Thank you, know, you to you. It's great to see your face back here on the broadcast. Get a cast in every once in a while here. And coming in to really uh, save our bacon here when, <laughs> when it comes to casters. But that is going to be us closing it out for the day here. Hope you all had a great time. This was such an exciting series. That's going to close us out for the day. Have a good one. See ability being set up by the Nova. Pop flash to come out for Opted. The push is good. Opted finds the first one on the board. Sushi walk down under rafters here. Finds one. Reposition on the site. Finds a second, but gonna fall to B Spoon. And close out that kill. Jello find that trade. Four tapping good for one. Presence is detected. No utility left. Double kill for four tapping though. Oh, oh look at that. Guard is have not been very heavy on the flanks recently. Ems finds the first thing second through that Viper wall as well. Morgan Sushi finds the kills on site. A thrifty round for the Saints. And Opted, can I just hold this angle? Uh, see if he can find anything, but Saints are hiding pretty good. Ems gonna get another one and uh, hide away. Getting that good use out of that Reyna, but four tapping with the 3k as well. Away from the main there. Hard to try and find this plan. You see Hunter's Fury coming through. Able to find one is Smart Punch. Four tapping. Good for three in the end. Good for three in so many of these rounds. Beast Moon coming in on the flank. The defuse not going to be good. Smart Punch shuts it down with a third. IU to beat the Coast Plan situation. I don't think IU is yet to lose. Gifted that they found on game, maybe one round. Saints were able to find it. The deep fuse comes through. Jello clutches it out. Headshot is gonna land. Find that kill now. 
Goblin is good. Three v three. Jello can't spam out often up top there. The Ghost is gonna win that out in the end. Four tapping is the only one left. The defuse ends up coming through. Four tapping finds a three k in the end. So we're gonna grab a Simba. That's the problem when you're sitting at one health trying to make that defuse happen. So the Mollies. This can just be played so slow. It's just utility based here. But now the Viper Pit falls immediately. M's Vandal in hand gonna help try and clean this one up and Vandals from three players here. Now, not player on that flank. Ems able to just miss out, find the healing, find the dismiss as well. Keep that Empress going, stack it back up, finds another kill. Ems still on a tear with this ultimate right now. Able to find a few more. Hop up that rope, finds one more. It's just Simba left on this one. Simba now has a rifle in hand, but Ems is in a better position. 4K off the back of that rain all as well. Able to keep that equipment value in hand. Should be a good recon dart to come through. I'm sure if it spotted anyone out, didn't look like it necessarily. Beast move very close on this angle here. Beast move shuts down two. Drop finds another beast move for three. Can you find it with that right click? Four tapping in the close range. Got a hunter's fury. You've got a lockdown in the cards as well. Ayu though, Simba. Got the off in hand, doesn't need to burn that short of force just yet. Finds the first pick, doesn't have to burn the TP either. Often a great tap. Often has been on fire this game. Gets that shot on the board here. Sushi is out of stone. Bigger pit there, gonna shoot that Molly as well. Finds one. Yellow finds the other. The brothers link up for a double kill there. Smart punch coming around. Yellow box finds two. Absolute head clicker here from Indiana, but Ems coming back on that flank, evening it back, sprays them down through that Viper wall. Be smooth in the top of sight here. Lockdown is going to be popped from four tapping here on the Killjoy. But Beast Moves in a perfect position to at least find one. Find a second. Can they find the third? Drop finishes it off with the third before that lockdown pops. 